Where the tide con flow snap, vivid like the Nikon. Been cold, but the vibe warm. Keep it locked like the vice arm. They got her twisted like the coat arm. Heart something froze like the snowstorm. Her tote bag matched the throat charm. She from the land of the sand where they flex so subtle when a drink mint muddle. Left home and her man in the game that he played for the sand of the shade. She parades you to square in her shades. She like why you do that. Niggas be deceptive. Young, pretty restless. Long as a check is addressed to a residence. She sell pill therapy. She beat 10 on clearance. So she shopping for clarity. Reap what she sold for the dividend. Know what time is the medicine. Cop in the wristwatch. Cartier with the bezel on her credit. The manner hers weapons do. I swear she, she's so sadistic. Defensive, pessimistic, reclusive. She too lit, independent. She too quick to dismiss courtship. Concerned with malice. She pile up as the bout ends. She throws a talent. She clutch a half full chalice. If you from fountains, check her rap. She sick, maneuver mountains. I. Is racing, looking miles a minute. No time to slide, I guess I'm back with distance. I never text you back, Lady, my thoughts they drifted. Around the shots to keep us all from losing who we are. We're products of a generation where we swipe and left across the interfaces. All my minds intend to be evasive. Yeah. Self-doubt 
Yo, 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 what up, y'all? It's your boy Rob coming back at you once again with another live stream. So before we get started, you already know what to do. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the bell icon twice. Smash the like button, share this video out to all of your followers, and let's get it cracking, all right? Shout out to DeAndre for being a like enforcer. Make sure y'all show him some love, throw some like enforcers in the chat. If you guys can hear me okay, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys cannot hear me, then give me a thumbs down, all right? I'm going to shout out everybody that's in the building early. We got my man, Eddie Longs. What's good with you, bro? We got Brooklyn Queen in the house. We got Miss Nisi on the replay. We got my man, Lloyd Sky 9. Shout out to you. We got my man, Terrence Jackson. I ain't seen you in a bit, bro. Good to see you. Hope all has been well with you. And we got my man, TD Hip Hop Media. And we got Patrick Taylor in the building, all right? So I was going to do another stream, but then Abba and Preach decided to interview Daisy Fit. So we're going to check out that interview that Abba and Preach did with Daisy Fit. Shout out to my man, Win, Lose, a Rug. What's good with it, bro? And if I got time after that, which I'm going to try to hurry up and run through this, then I might do another uh, stream on the, on that uh, other stuff that I was going to talk about. All right. So some interesting stuff came out in this interview, and we're going to take a watch. Now, here go the thing, right? I understand why Abba and Preach did this interview, and we all know Abba is petty, he he, ha ha, right? But what I think is interesting about this situation is that if this woman Daisy was any other woman, she would not be getting this kind of grace from everybody. She would not be getting this kind of grace from anybody. She definitely wouldn't be getting this kind of grace from everybody if she was black, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's acting like it's a tragedy. You know what I'm saying? They're giving her simple forgiveness. Oh, you know, you're saying that you made a mistake and nobody's really going in. And and it's it's just weird how agendas make people take sides disingenuously, if you ask me. Because, again, if you ask me, they both acted like complete cornballs. They both acted like complete, immature, impulsive morons. But everybody's got to have this grace for this woman because nobody likes fresh and fit. So the very thing that everybody is talking about, about how men don't have any rights and nobody represents men and this, that, and the other, the very men who make those points are making a way out for this chick that did the same thing that any other woman on the street who, if she did it, they will call them a 304. Yeah, I got to agree. Shout out to my man, Win, Loser, Rug. She don't seem any more innocent than fresh. She's not. She's not. And that's my point. Shout out to Patrick Taylor. It's amazing how other women get passes for doing the same thing, but they flame sisters. Facts. I mean, you got you got Abba sitting up there talking about he's going to pay for her uh, lawyer if they name the kid after him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's funny. You know what I'm saying? I get it. That's Abba being petty. But, like, I mean, if you want to give your money to a just cause, bro, like, give your money to a just cause. Shout out to my man, Terrence Jackson. Terrence said she trapped that man. How many of y'all think that she trapped him? Honestly, for real, for real, I kind of, I don't, I don't necessarily think that she trapped him. I think what it was was that they was just both living reckless. I'm sure, like, she was telling him do this and do that. And, you know, they was playing house. It was like a playing house situation that got out of control and they got reckless. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that because everybody hates fresh, right? It's like the woman is the hero in the situation. <laughs> and it's like, nah, because if this was any other situation, this woman would not be a hero. Fresh jumped into that head first, bro, and didn't put no brakes on. And she told him to. I guarantee you she told him to. Shout out to my man Alonzo. What's good with it? How many of y'all think that she told him to? You know she told him to. Sh shout out to my man Grind and Motivate. She used that Asian submission, you know, I'll do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. She did all that. And Fresh fell for it. <laughs> Fresh fell for it. And a lot of people fall for it. Now, I don't know if, I, shout out to Duke and Don. I, I caught the tail end of Duke and Don's live stream, right? 
and she called into Duke and Don's live stream and she didn't say it, but she almost let it slip that her parents were, would be mad at her. She was here in America and she got and she got pregnant by a blue American man. You know what I'm saying? She almost said got pregnant by a black guy. At least it seemed like that, right? I don't want to put no lies on her and say that that's what she said, but it sounded like she said that, which I'm not surprised anyway. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just type up a random Asian Twitter account and you can see exactly how those people feel. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh, she told him to, bro, and he fell for it. He fell for it. And I told y'all about them OnlyFans muscles. Shout out to all things Netta Jean. What's good with you? I told you about them OnlyFans muscles, man. Them OnlyFans muscles. <laughs> them OnlyFans muscles is real. It's nothing but horror stories with them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel that when lose a rug. I feel it. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this interview, all right? Because, again, like, my thing is, I, I understand, right? But, I mean, like, if you listen to this interview, I'll be sitting up there talking about, yeah, like, I'm, we'll, I will we'll double the video output on this channel. You know what I'm saying? If you name the kid after me and this, that, and the other. And it's like, you know, like, I get it for the, for the necessity of the pettiness. But, come on, bro. Like, if you're actually going to put out that type of money, because you do, because you're fortunate enough to have a channel that has a million subs, actually do something good with the money instead of troll with it. Actually do something good with the money instead of troll with it. Do something that nobody wants to hear about. Buy crypto. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's check this out and see what they're talking about. Today on episode two of Surviving Fresh and Fit, I want to get to the bottom of this fiasco. If you uh, haven't seen part one, be sure to go check that out. It's more context. But I decided that I would interview the woman in question at the heart of this whole thing. She provided me a bunch of screenshots, uh, screen recordings, and a bunch of different things. And I think it answered a lot of the questions that would have seemed to be unanswered before. Things like whether or not she's a supporter. She isn't. What was the timeline of events? Did Walter know that she was not on birth control? Was he aware that she was trying to have a child? Did they have discussions about it? Was he trying to be serious with her? What proof does she have that? All these things are going to get answered over the course of this interview. Uh, but first thing that I have to correct from the previous thing is that she's never been a sex worker. Um, turns out she won some kind of beauty pageant. And people So now here goes my question. Who Who is it that came with the rumors that she was a quote unquote sex worker? I know I saw some people say that she was an escort or something like that, but I didn't believe that. But where did these rumors come from? Because in a lot of these situations, what you have is you have a lot of people coming with facetious talking points and then attempting to debunk points that nobody ever made. I know as far as my content goes, I never made the point that she was a talking, that she was a escort. And I never made the point that, she trapped him. I made the see now. This is what's funny, right? I made the point that they both behaved irresponsibly. And what's interesting about it is that you could tell the grift on the internet because the people that's anti manosphere, they're going to go all in on fresh and cape for this female, right? And the people that's anti female are going to go all in on the female and cape for fresh. And literally nobody is calling this down the middle. But the, but if you ask them the question, well, how would you feel if would you would you be caping just as hard if your daughter came back home with the same story? Most people would probably not be very happy with their daughter if their daughter came back home to them with this story at all. But YouTube is all about a grift. YouTube is all about popularity. YouTube is all about people being intimidated and scared of a punk ass audiences. You know what I'm saying? So they can't say anything. You guys see how my numbers go down all the time because I offend a whole bunch of people that come through and find my channel? I don't care. That's the reason why my content ages so good. Because I'm going to call it straight down the middle. I don't care if there's only one person in here. I'll call it straight down the middle. You can't sit there. Let me ask you all this. What what good integ woman with good integrity is going to ask for a man to have a minimum income requirement of a million dollars?
Facts, which is which is big facts. And that's another thing, too. When it comes to these YouTube streets, when it comes to these YouTube channels, these people are dumb. If one per like if if Fresh did this, somehow it was like a gang. It, it was it was like a big train that got ran and black men got this 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 Chinese woman pregnant. Black men got the Chinese woman pregnant. No, black men didn't get the Chinese woman pregnant because when you take the DNA test, it's only going to come back to one person, whoever the dad is. This is how dumb these people are on YouTube, bro. They can't even articulate a complete sentence properly. The average IQ on this app for most of these content creators, I guarantee you, is not even 100. I guarantee you it's in the low 70s. And then on the other side, the people that's anti-black woman will sit up there and act like this woman, this, this, this Asian woman here is somehow connected with black women. Or take the negative attributes that she did and connect that to black women. Nah, this is just people, bro. This is what people do. You know what I'm saying? This is just what people do. And I got to agree with Lloyd Sky Nine. That was red flag number one. But the thing is, is here, and people don't go back and check the patterns. Why do these dudes keep finding these chicks on seeking arrangements? Is other places where you could find women. And if you got so much game, why are you not just going walking walking around meeting women? Listen, man, if you ever been to Miami all day, you know what I'm saying? 24-7. I'm talking about from midnight to noon, 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's people walking around in the street all day long. Women, you know what I'm saying? Not wearing a lot of clothes. You mean to tell me you can't go up and talk to any of them? I thought that I thought that whole thing was about game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they don't have any game. They don't have any game. When have y'all ever seen Fresh and Fit do a walkthrough like, "Yo, I'm gonna just walk up Collins Avenue and we're gonna holler at somebody and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna secure a date." We're going to secure some girls for the show, and we're going to secure some girls for kicking it afterwards. When have y'all ever seen them do that? They used to have a recruiter, like an agent, go and get their girls. Right, right. And shout out, shout out to DeAndre. DeAndre said, no, Rob, remember, this ain't the type of females fresh mess with. Right. But then we go back and talk about Miranda, how Miranda had him out looking all stupid. And that's big facts. They got no game, no self-awareness, and no situational awareness. What person would situate? Listen, I ain't trying to be funny, man. If you only been with a woman for two months, right? What dude with any kind of common sense is going to listen to a woman and and say, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and just bust all in you. Who's going to do that? <laughs> Who's going to do that? You know what I'm saying? Nobody in their right mind is going to do that. But the thing that's crazy is that this type of situation with Fresh, this is not something that's uncommon. Believe it or not, this is actually a very common situation. Now, here's the question that we got to ask. Why is this a common situation? And another thing that's interesting about it is that these are this kind of situation right here, this is the very situation that Fresh and Fit go on their anti-black male rants about. Would you guys agree? Let's listen some more. People just start uploading her page, her photos to some escorting sites, but it was just scam sites. Um, now, whether or not you want to believe that is up to everyone at home. But to date, there's no actual proof that she doesn't need that kind of work. On a live stream today, uh, he said that you were never his girl. He said that? I made a statement on my vlog and on the show multiple times. And I said, this is a matter of fact, guys, look, look it up if you want to. I said, if it goes on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. It's Okay, so now here's the thing, right? Here go where Fresh is coming with the with the inconsistencies. Because he's telling his audience what he told his audience. And he's using that to substitute for what he actually told this woman. Fresh is a liar. Let me tell you something, man. Anything that involves game, 
if somebody lies to one person, they're going to lie to the other person. So as you're watching these contradictions, as you sit there and give fresh and fit your last little bit of Bitcoin, if they lie to their audience, if they lie to this, if they lie to this woman, they finna lie to you. Yeah, facts, Terrence. He said he doesn't pay for dates either. He said he doesn't pay for dates either. And I got to agree with Lloyd Sky 9. Lloyd Sky 9 says, oh, yeah, this is well-deserved. A dish served cold by oneself. Facts. Facts. All they doing is lying. But see, here go the problem, right? Fresh and Fit's lying. Daisy being a 304. And I've been preach grandstanding like crazy because they don't like Fresh and Fit. So you're not so you're not really going to get an honest take on any of this stuff because all the parties involved are biased. They're all biased towards each other. Fresh don't want to take the responsibility of being a dad. I've been preached don't like fresh and fit. So they're going to do whatever they can in the situation to come out with the truth of why they don't like fresh and fit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Daisy just trying to get paid. Daisy just trying to get paid. Shout out to DSA. What's good with it, bro? Facts. And and the anti-manosphere, which is a lot of black men, just loves to shit on black men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I agree. I've been preaching milking it. It's funny though. Facts. And we and the thing is, is that we know that I've been preaching is gonna do that, right? It's not like they're it, it's not like we don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, Eon. Good to see you, bro. It's not like it's not like we don't know that, right? We know that anytime something go bad with with fresh and fit, I've been preaching gonna hop right on it. They're gonna hop right on it. You know what I'm saying? Which they should. You know what I'm saying? Because what went on between fresh and fit and I've been preach was completely fresh and fit's fault. You know what I'm saying? It was completely out of control. And you know they get what they get. They opened up that can of worms. That's what they get. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, AW1. What's good with you, bro? But as you guys can see right here, Fresh, Fresh Prince CEO is blatantly, blatantly, blatantly lying. He's blatantly lying. In the conversations to his audience, he projects one thing. If the girl comes on the show, she's not my girlfriend. To his girl, to, to Daisy, he's telling her, you're my girlfriend. So again, you got both of them spitting a little bit of game in each other's ear that they both want to hear. They both appeasing each other instead of being honest. You know what I'm saying? And real quick, shout out to y'all, man. Make sure y'all show DeAndre some love for being a like enforcer. Throw them like enforcers in the chat. If y'all haven't hit that bell yet, please take a moment, hit that bell. If you guys haven't, please do that. If you guys haven't shared the stream, make sure y'all take a moment and share the stream. All right. Keep that in mind. If I bring her on camera, she's not my girl. We never see my girl because I know what happens when you bring her on the internet. So now, again, he's saying, now, it's not the audience, right? Now, the audience is saying this stuff after all of this stuff has come out. But these are private messages. So him saying, if, I, if you see a girl on the show, it's not my girl. Him saying that to the audience is completely different than what their private communications led Daisy to believe. You know what I'm saying? I learned from experience. That's all I'm going to say. Listen, this was a great trip. Happy to see my lovely Asian queen again. Uh, but, you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time until mm -hmm. she comes back. So, can't wait to see her back here in Miami. Uh, I prefer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like me. Yeah, yeah I got to agree. I got to agree. Shout out to Eon. Eon says, I think she's pregnant, but she ain't keeping it. She's going to feed off the clout, and she's an attention whore. The media tour proves it. Listen, man, she's just another Asian chick with racist parents. And what's sad about this is that, like, she, she was getting first. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at the cake tour. Because first she went on a cake tour. You know what I'm saying? She went on a cake tour. First she's getting paid sucking the money and every damn thing else out of fresh. Right? Then... Now she's going on. Has she been on a white platform? It, white people get way better treatment than black people on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? All they got to do is put out mediocre content, and all of a sudden they got a million subs out of the clear blue sky. While we do all our own production work, got to learn how to use OBS, learn how to use StreamYards, learn how to use Photoshop, learn how to use 
um, Adobe Rush. You know what I'm saying? We do our own production. We don't have no damn production plantation like just pearly things because they want to give her a million views a short that's mediocre. We got to do all this work ourselves. You got O'Shea Duke Jackson sitting up there talking about we don't work as hard. You know what I'm saying? All this go down. You know what I'm saying? And then this chick here goes on an entire cake tour. How come ain't nobody talking about the cake tour she's on? She was getting caked up by Fresh. Now she's getting caked up by all these content creators. That's coddling her. Where's some Asian people coming out to bat for her at? She can't even bring a black man back to her home. All the men who she can't even bring back to her home are responsible for her having the best time of her life in America and having a defense force when she needs it. That's not a flex. Where's the white dudes caping for? The same way wasn't no white dudes caping for just pearly things. What are the Asian dudes caping for? How come she won't talk about her family? How come she won't talk about why Fresh didn't get introduced to her family? She could she couldn't bring Abba, she couldn't bring Preach, or she couldn't bring um, or she couldn't bring Fresh back home to their mom. But all of them is responsible for everything. Facts, shout out to Terrence. She's tainted. Facts. Shout out to TD. <laughs> Ninja's got problems. Now, here go the thing, right? Again, I'm not out here dick policing because I don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, though, I'm about reciprocity. And she's and she's again, she's making the she's making the corner store tour around through the black community, setting up a corner store at Fresh and Fit, setting up a corner store with I've been preach, setting up a corner store on anybody who will let her get on it, her platform. What is anybody getting back from this? A couple views. Man, her parents won't let you sit down at her table at the house and eat. All these are channels where people talk about their value and how much they care about themselves. And in order to be a man, you got to have self-love first. Okay, well, if you got self-love, why are you dealing with somebody who... Her parents would disown her if they found out she got pregnant and they might disown her now because literally that almost came out of her mouth. How many people saw the stream uh, that Duke and Don did where he interviewed her? I swear that was right on the tip of her tongue and then she pulled it back. She pulled it back like a damn comedian, uh, like a damn chameleon. You know what I'm saying? Getting a fly off of a flower petal. Shout out to TD. TD says, does she got a YouTube channel yet? I don't know. She might. I know she was on Instagram. We're going to watch her on Instagram, though. She'll make one real soon. She's going to make uh, she's, she's gonna make uh, a channel, Surviving Fresh and Fit. But this is dumb, man. This is this is ratchet and reckless actions on the part of both of these people, man. Fresh was ratchet and reckless. She's ratchet and reckless. I don't understand why so many people giving her a pass, though. Now you got all these people, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to have these agendas and you got to match up with the YouTube talking points. So now you're going to get all these people sit up there and say, oh, Rob, you caping for fresh. Are you out your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Are you out your mind? Anybody that sits up there and tries to say I'm caping for fresh, I got 10 times the videos on this channel going in on fresh and fit than they do. A lot of times people like to, you know what I'm saying? They, they'll do what's called sympathy pimping. You know what I'm saying? You see a damsel in distress and, oh, I'm going to just catch her. I'm going to just catch her. Dude's hearts melt. For females that make bad decisions. Now, 
all the stereotypical stuff comes out about the black men, right? Oh, they just make single fathers. Anybody ever asked this chick how many massage parlors she worked in the back of? How many people did she tell me love you long time? How many happy ending she give? Anybody, anybody ask that, those questions? No, all of a sudden, all of the Asian stereotypes, because I don't know if you know, you know what I'm saying? But they've been closing down mad brothels throughout the United States since the migrant crisis. Facts, Terrence. Nobody's going to call her a baby mom either. Facts, bro. Now, what people should have done is fell back and saw how much sympathy other people had for her. People always doing this stuff, man. When just pearly things messed up everything that she had that was given to her by YouTube, who came to save her? What's that? It wasn't the Manosphere president, Anthony Johnson. Anthony Johnson had been made videos roasting and exposing uh, Pearl. Accurate videos, too. You know what I'm saying? Here we go again. Like DMX, here we go again. You know what I'm saying? I love you, babe. So he's out here saying he don't claim her. He never claimed her. That's not his girl. But in private, he's saying, I love you. He's saying, you my girlfriend. He moved her in. And on top of that, he publicly on video saying he loves her. Does that sound like somebody who's being <laughs> treated like a jump off? Facts. Facts. Shout out to CCS. The U.S. has an Asian massage parlor brothel epidemic. Facts. But look at how none of that gets associated with her. None of that gets associated with her. She just, she just innocent. You know what I'm saying? She just innocent. She just say innocent little dragon. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you serious? It's this was crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy that people have that much hatred towards somebody that. In, instead of calling the situation down the middle. And it's all these people that claim that they call the situations down the middle too. Did they have a clear bias? Man, everybody in this, it's enough roast in this situation to go around for everybody. But they won't do it. They got to run by the agenda. Got to run by the, aden the agenda. Got to run by the YouTube sanctioned side that they're on. I'm a villain. I'm on my own side. And my side is the right side. It's the only side. The other side is oblivion. I'm just saying. Everyone tell you she's baby trapping him. All this other stuff. Is she baby trapping him or is he just trapping her? I'm asking the questions. Now check this out. How many people knew that Abba and Destiny, they had a whole debate about this. They had a whole debate about this situation. We might actually go, we might actually check out that debate. See, I wanted to get through the response, right? Because the fresh and fit lawyer response was a disaster. How many people saw that? Man, listen, the, the train came off the rails and tried to go through the tunnel sideways on that bad boy. It was a disaster. Now, wait till we get later on in this video when y'all see Myron damn near have a heart attack. Because the only deception I've seen so far is from him towards her. The only trap I've seen so far is him basically love bombing the shit out of her so he can fuck her as much as he wants. Then when he's done, he just get rid of her. Well, he's just making him like make, make him look like an idiot right now because So now let me ask y'all this again, right? Another thing that people always ask. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, 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 Demonette. Crazy destiny was the only one not giving this chick kid gloves, and he's the blue, and he's the one that's blue pilled. This is a dude that came from a relationship where he would sit there and watch his chick get railed by other people. Are you serious? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what destiny does. Make this make sense. 
make it make sense. Let me see. Hold on real quick. Cause I want to, let me see. Hold on. Happen her. I'm asking the questions because the only deception I've seen so far is from him towards her. The only trap I've seen so far is him basically love bombing the shit out of her so he can fuck her as much as he wants. Okay, but now here's the thing, right? Let me ask you guys this. Is this com is this situation completely about deception? Is this this is not a, this is also about bad judgment, right? Now, also, right? Fresh and Fit have a pot. They had the most popular podcast for this kind of content in the world. The highest engagement, right? People love them. They love Fresh and Fit. They got a whole Fresh and Fit army. You know what I'm saying? You mean what? What kind of research did she do on this dude? Everybody know that girls got the girl network of research that's more efficient than the FBI. You know what I'm saying? All they got to do is send out a few text messages to their nosy ass friends and they'll find out everything about you in less than two seconds. You mean to tell me she couldn't do that? And I agree 100%, Terrence. Facts. If you guys agree with Terrence, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, give me a thumbs down. Terrence said, Abba is only seeing what he wants to see. They were playing each other. Facts. Facts. Fresh was giving her what she wanted. And she was giving Fresh what he wanted. You mean to tell me? That after listening to all of those conversations while she sat through the show and hanging out with him and being a part of his content and listening to things that she said or things that he said, going back, watching old episodes, she didn't know that this dude was a known misogynist. Now, what's what's interesting about this. Is that. As much as women sit up here and talk about misogyny and complain about misogyny, the word misogynist always seems to get replaced with black men, with black men. Okay, well, we're not, we're not going to call him what he is. We're not going to call him a misogynist. No, we're going to call him a black man because we got a chip on our shoulder against y'all. Okay, cool. And this is what I'm saying. Anybody involved in or anybody taking this situation is living in a fantasy world. They live on Lunar Base 9. And... People don't want to be in reality. People don't want to be on the earth. They can't wait to 100% darkness tomorrow when that eclipse hit. They wish that it would be like that the entire time. Maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe one day it will be. Then when he's done, he just get rid of her. Well, he's just making him like make, make him look like it did right now because clearly, like he made it made that on public and. On the conversation, you saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Travel to your home country? That's not reasonable. You can, like, casually meeting your mother. That's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, okay, if you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being an anonymous? See, so now here go the question, right? Now, at, after she met his mother, why didn't he press her and make her introduce her to his parents i'm a shout out to y'all fellas man to the fellas in the building and to the ladies this you know what i'm saying depending on what side you what side of the aisle you fall on if your partner is weird about letting you meet their family drop them drop them you're not listen i black okay to all the black people right the passport bros, you know what I'm saying? Like people that are involved with non-black partners, you do not deserve to be treated like you're taboo. You got to have some self-respect. Again, I'm not sitting up here dick policing, but if your partner's family will not let you in the house, if they look down on their on their family member for being with you, screw them. All you're going to do is end up getting hurt. And the reason why you're going to end up getting hurt is because nobody's going to drop their family for you. So it turns into this situation of now we just playing around until the timer is up. And then when the timer is up, I'm going to have to cut it off anyway. Stop doing that.
Right, and I agree. Win, lose, or rug. Many need to many need to take that hint. And I agree with you too, Lloyd Scott. And I, many need to take, take that hint. Facts. Win, lose, or rug said he called her girlfriend once. How credible is that? Facts. And shout out to Patrick. Patrick says a lot of black people think lower of themselves when it comes to non-blacks. And, and they should not. They should not. Matter of fact, you should always think of yourself as it's a privilege for them to be with you. Whatever kind of osteoporosis they might have, whatever kind of acne they might have. If you decide to have a child, it's going to be your genes that correct that. You're not even going to gene therapy. You're not even paying a, a oncologist to take you to gene therapy. Shout out to LS. What's good with it, bro? People, they're, stop accepting that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to prove anything extra because of who you are. You don't have to prove anything extra because you're black. If somebody else's parents is archaic and they still live in the Caucasus Mountains and got an issue with you, drop them. Because remember, that same family that raised that person, that family that has an issue with you, raised that person, which means they raised issues in that person with you that haven't come out yet. But they will. And you don't have to prove anything. You don't have to go around being super boyfriend. You don't have to go around being super girlfriend because you black. Your parents ain't rocking with me. I'm out. Break their heart. Hurt them. You know what I'm saying? Make them cry tears so that they fix their family. You the best boyfriend they ever been with? Make them remember that. That's what it is. You'll be the best ex. You was the best girlfriend that they was ever with? Make them remember that. Make sure that it's a donut hole size hole in their heart. And remember that it's not your fault. These dudes going around saving this chick that wouldn't even, they, they, they wouldn't even put chopsticks in front of your plate if you went to go eat at their house. And literally there's no, no, no AAPI defense force coming out to bat for her. Why not? Why not? We got to think we got to think about that. Why why see it also goes to be people need to stop being clean up men. Stop being clean up men. Not you got you got a lot of clean up men. Whether it's clean up men that's going, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she'll be able to find a boyfriend while she's pregnant. Not even pregnant with the person that she with baby. But it's going to be some simp. It's going to be some idiot that's going, you know what I'm saying? Treat her like a queen while she's carrying around somebody else's baby. What, what kind of, what kind of self-respect do anybody have? It's crazy, man. It's just it's wild. Look at how people jumping out the window on this. Yeah, I gotta agree. Facts, Lloyd Scott and I. We definitely living in the end times. Patrick Taylor said a lot of black. Cleanup men is made out of the likes of like Kim K. I don't understand why like, I don't understand why people cleaning that up. Like I just, I just don't get it. How much self respect do you gotta have? Shout out to Professor Days. What's good with it, bro? Where's the content out there telling people to stop being a cleanup man? Do you know what you're actually cleaning up?
Like, come on, man. Societal DK is on full effects. Facts. Like, it is what it is, man. I'm not going to get this chick some type of credibility or some type of credit that she didn't earn. She, the only exposure that I know about this woman is negative. And that's all she getting until proven otherwise. But even with the tweets or even with the, the screenshots that she's showing, she's not. Mo How many of y'all would deal with a woman like that? I'm not trying to be funny, man, but if you if I'm with a woman and you just repeatedly I only been with you for two months and you repeatedly just telling me to bust in you, man, I'm about to look at you crazy like, man, what the hell wrong with you? That's a red flag right there. Monogamous relationship with Fresh. Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got. So look, check this out, right? She says she. So she knew that Fresh Prince CEO was not being faithful, right? They were in a. Uh, they weren't in a monogamous relationship. They were in a polygamous relationship. So where she's acting all surprised that he could possibly have four other girls pregnant, that's fake because she just acknowledged that she knew. So here's the question, right? She says, Abba says, why did you allow him to be in a polygamous relationship? Which is a great question because why would you? Why would you? Why as a man or a woman would you let anybody be involved in polygamy if you're supposed to be in a relationship? She says because she knew he would do it anyway. How do you know he's not going to do that if you're in the United States or if you're in a relationship? Why are you dealing with somebody with if you're supposed to be together and you just know they're going to be dealing with other people that you accept that and be in a relationship with that? Yeah, shout out to Terrence. She told him to get an apartment so he can have girls come to his place. I mean, like, who says stuff like that? To shout out to the ladies that's in here. How many of y'all ladies would tell your man or tell somebody that you're working towards an intimate relationship with, go ahead and get an apartment, you know what I'm saying, so you can have about five or six girls upstairs? Ain't nobody going to say that. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to say that. Exactly. Shout out to Vega. What's good with it? And I said, you know what? It's funny. Shout out to Professor Days. Bro, I said the same thing. I said, Joe, man, I, it, it's something about this, man. This, this seemed like some high level trolling. It seemed like some high level trolling for real, for real. <laughs> real quick, man. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. If y'all haven't smashed that like button yet, please take a moment, smash that like button. Also, if you guys haven't hit the bell, take a moment, hit the bell and share the stream to your social media. Also, make sure you check out my backup channels, and you can go ahead and follow me at Base Reality 2 on Twitter and on Rumble. Exactly. Most women wouldn't, Alanda. Facts. Shout out to Alanda. Alanda said, I would never tell my man to do anything like that. Most women wouldn't. <laughs> Most women wouldn't. And the thing is, is like when it come to these when it come to these questions, like why is this stuff not getting broken down like this? Like that's bizarre. That's not something that's common. But I, again, I'm going to tell you why. It's because everybody ought to see like this is the problem, right? When you do this over accountability thing, now it becomes anytime anything goes wrong with somebody that anybody doesn't like, the other person is automatically in the right. No, nah, man, in this situation, you got two bad apples. You got two bad apples. I'm not about to sit up here and grandstand for this chick. And she can't even bring a black man back home to her house. Like, get the hell out of here. Like, he made it made that on public. And on the conversation, you saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Okay. And if somebody is your boyfriend, are you going to take them to see your family? One thing that if black people, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, man. If you're dealing with a non-black relationship partner, demand, put the pressure on them. I want to meet your family. If they don't let you meet the family, 
Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Skirt. Cut it. Them people off. You got to cut them. You know what I'm saying? Cut it. Why is the standards on Fresh that Fresh got to introduce her to his family, but she get a pass because it's just accepted that everybody don't rock with black people. Force that shit on these people, man. And then that I had your answer. I, facts, Vega, facts. Facts. And here go the thing, right? This is this this is not a defensible salute situation, if you ask me. Let me ask y'all this. How many of y'all think that this is a defensible situation? This is not a defensible situation. This is a situation that people call a teaching moment. This is a situation where women can actually get a valuable lesson, how to not to move like Daisy, how not to be susceptible to game. You know what I'm saying? And this is a situation for men to not slip and fall and not be able to get up. You know what I'm saying? But instead, because YouTube has created biases and we so agenda based, it's got to be fresh the bad guy all the time. Well, he's still the damn bad guy, but now you're dealing with a bad girl that wanted a bad guy and they got bad results, which is usually what happens. <laughs> Shout out to AB Promotions. What's good with you, bro? Tons of sim bro, the, the simps, the, the, the simps come out. They come out, bro. They defending Candace Owens. You know what I'm saying? They defended Jess Pearly things. They're going to defend her. Now, if she was black, would they defend her? She just another single mama. Everybody would be talking about how the government going to take care of her. If she was black, the, the, the white man's government going to take care of her. She finna get all these food stamps and all this and an apartment for free. You know what I'm saying? And college paid for so she can go get a useless PhD. That's what everybody would be saying if she was black. She going to be all right. They, they handling this chick with kid gloves. And she's an adult. Not only is she an adult, she's an adult that's supposedly of better grade than us. She's a model minority. The only thing she's modeling is what not to do. Shout out to Carla Lockard. What's good with you, Carla? The only thing that she's modeling is what not to do. She fell victim to lies and game. Most women that have a man in their life. Shout out to finance man. What you saying, finance man? You think the situation is a spoof? You don't believe the situation is real? Because I, I had actually said the same thing too, bro. Like, I don't know about this, man. I think this is some high level trolling, bro. And you know me and you don't never agree on anything. <laughs> but shout out to you, bro. You know you're my man and I rock with you. But I, I, I got to agree. I don't, I don't know the, how valid this situation is. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it, seems, it seems like it was concocted for content. And if it's not concocted for content, Fresh is just moving like how Fresh does. And she's just moving. I, it's like she had no influence in her life on how to navigate with people at all. I mean, like, I'm not trying to be funny, man, but she's playing it up to be really naive. How many of y'all think that she is just being overly naive here? If you guys think that, give me a thumbs up. If y'all don't think that, then give me a thumbs down. She's being overly naive. Travel to your home country? 
that's not reasonable. You can like casually meeting your mother. That's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, okay, if you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Fresh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because- Okay, so now check this out. She accepted being in a non-monogamous relationship. She accepted that. Now here goes my question. What would she have done if she wasn't the girl that got pregnant? What if Fresh had came to her and said, yo, I got one of these other chicks pregnant. Andrew, my girlfriend, but I got her pregnant over here. What would she have done then? What would she have done then? I seriously want to know. Why would you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship? Please make better decisions than that. Let me ask y'all this, right? For everybody caping for this woman, all the capes, they flying in the wind. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn the fans off so the capes go down. It's flapping in here like a bunch of bird wings, all right? Let's get the flapping down, all right? Now that we got the flapping down, here's my question. If your daughter or your sister or if your mother is single and she's back in the dating world and you went and your mother came and talked to you, if any of those women said, hey, I'm in a relationship where this dude is allowed to go mess around with as many women as he wants to, how many of y'all would cheer her on and say, you go, mom, you go, sis, you go, daughter, you go, niece, you go, sister. How many of y'all would say that? Literally nobody would cheer that on. Everybody would look at that with a side eye. And hopefully, if you care about your family member, you would be like, ah, let me talk to you about this. Because this, the, you know what I'm saying? That might not be the best move for you. It's a lot of risks involved in that. A lot of emotional over overflow. You know what I'm saying? A lot of body fluid overflow. A lot of reasons why you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that most people would do it. So now why are we just like, as we listen to this interview, we'll just gloss right past the fact that she was perfectly okay with him messing with all these chicks because it's fresh. And because if she's dealing with fresh, then of course fresh had to be the one that did everything wrong. I'm not trying to be funny, man. If my daughter came home and told me that she was involved in a polygamous relationship where the dude could do whatever he wanted to, some things are about to change drastically. And she's probably going to have a handprint on her face. And it won't be from us doing father-daughter art. Listen to this. Listen. You saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Travel to your home country? That's not reasonable. You can like casually meeting your mother. That's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, okay. He never traveled. He never traveled to her home country. Here goes my, and I need everybody to answer this question. Why did she not travel? Why did he not travel to her home country? We got to get this out on the, out on the open, out on the floor. Why did Fresh not travel to her home country? See, all of these things, all of these expectations that she has. Well, he did this. He did that. He met my parent, or I met his parents. I met his mom. I met his dad. Okay, he didn't meet yours. Why not? Let me ask you guys a question. How many of y'all, shout out to the males, to the men. How many of y'all met y'all girlfriend's parents? Probably most people in the room. So now we got to ask the question, well, why, sh why, he, why Fresh didn't meet hers? Her family does not accept him. Facts. Now let's ask this question. Why would her family not accept him? Why? Why? Because of racism that doesn't exist, right? Now what happens to Fresh when Fresh is a victim of what he says doesn't exist on his own show? He's an idiot, and so is she. She don't get no pass neither.
if you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Fresh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we won't. So now, again, right here, she shows that she'll give a pass on what she thinks that she can't control him doing. Shout out to my man, James Sumler. What's good with it, bro? She'll give a pass to what she doesn't. To, to what she doesn't think she can control him to do. Yeah, he can go ahead and, and mess around with the, all these different chicks because I can't stop him anyway. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Y'all heard that, right? So, so anything that she doesn't think that he's capable of, he just gets a pass on. This is, the re this is what she set up. This is the pattern she's establishing. So if you don't think that I can be faithful, you're just going to let me have a, a, a polygamous relationship. Well, I don't think that I can have sex with protection. So you're just going to, you know what I'm saying, let me, you know what I'm saying, spray the club up. Right. Shout out to Terrence. Stopping him stops the bag. Stopping him also stops the attention. Shout out to the demon that the demon that says. I think she was going to allow him to do what he wanted until he brought until he bought or rented that condo in Miami. And then she would have changed the terms. Yeah, I agree. Shout out to Leroy. Leroy said, this guy needs to grow up. Who needs to grow up? Fresh Prince CEO or me? Let me know. <laughs> Clearly, like he made it, made that on public and on the conversation, you saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Travel to your home country? That's not reasonable. You can like casually meeting your mother. That's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, okay. If you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Fresh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long-distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got to know each other. And, you know, so I was thinking. So now check this out, right? She allowed, now everybody, how many people roasted? How many people flamed? How many people roasted Destiny for being in a non-monogamous relationship? Because Destiny was in a non-monogamous relationship. So Destiny got everything wrong with him. And he's not the victim because he had a non-monogamous relationship. But somehow she is the victim and she agreed to the same thing. So Destiny gets roasted for being in a non-monogamous relationship. She gets sympathy, pity, and legal defense is paid for. <laughs> Somebody make that make sense. Make it make sense. It, isn't it crazy how the rules it is? It's it's extremely crazy how the rules flip. Destiny is everything under the sun for allowing his chick to have a polygamous relationship, which ultimately ruined him. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately ruined the relationship, I should say. Her allowing Fresh to do whatever she wants, somehow she's the victim. And everybody caping for her. Everybody caping for her. People that roasted Destiny for the polygamy caping for her. Just to be there and move there, for, like to be with him, maybe, maybe like it will be different, you know, but I don't want to like, it comes to a conclusion in the beginning, like, oh, I'm going to stop this guy from doing everything just because he met me. Because in the early stage of the relationship, I don't want to. Um, then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you're rushing to have a kid? I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not softballing no, it. No, no, I'm mad at you. No. I, I, I'm, I'm She's like, I'm about, like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush like, monogamy. So I'm accepting this, but, but like, you're rushing for but you want to have a baby with him.
Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I'm not. I just feel like I'm not. I feel. I feel. I feel. It's all about I feel. I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not softballing no, it. No, no, I am mad at you. No. I, I, I'm, I'm She's talking about, like, I don't want to be too intense and, like, rush, like monogamy, so I'm accepting this. But, like, but you want to have a baby with him. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I'm not, I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married. Or if, if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for, like, a week. If I like somebody, I can have a kid with them for a week. Well, these are the results that you get when you are that kind of girl. F simple. Done. Done, done. Somebody hit the gavel. It's over. How do we brush past this part and act like this is not significant? Let me ask, shout out to the women. How many women think that this is a normal mind? Like, how many women think that this is a normal mind state? Like, if I listen to this woman say this, can I apply what she just said as a broad statement? to other women well you know some women you know they just have a kid after a week are you serious where did she get those values from where did she get those values from how do you just like we're not going to expand on that anymore you just a sucker for love ain't you or just a sucker for dollars, or just a sucker, period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, here go the thing, right? Shout out to shout out to win loser rug. Females trying to justify that nonsense yesterday. Do they have love children after a week? Now, if they got love children after a week, okay. All right. Well, I see that's how you live your life. So at least, you know what I'm saying? Like that makes sense. But if you don't have love children after a week, because you've been living your life responsibly and don't move like this, then why are you caping for this? All those women that feel that way, how would you feel if, if the woman said this about your son? Right, a week ago, a week ago. <laughs> In this interview, she up here tweaking, ho. <laughs> like, this don't make any sense. And real quick, shout out to y'all, man. If y'all haven't hit that like button yet, please take a moment, smash the like button. Also, if you guys haven't shared the stream to your social media, make sure you guys take a moment, share the stream to your social media. We got 22 people watching and we got 30 likes. If everybody can bang on that like button and get us to 50, that'd be great. Y'all see y'all see how YouTube is doing, right? Just pay close. This is what I said. This, this is why I always be telling everybody, pay attention to YouTube. Pay attention to the other people that say that they shadow ban. Pay attention to my channel. I motherfuckers ain't shadow ban, man. I don't be trying to hear that shit. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I'm not, I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married. Or if, if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like a week. Like, it's not, it doesn't matter. It's the time, it doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months. He really wanted to. Facts. Super facts. Shout out to Win Loser Rug. Super facts, bro. Win Loser Rug said if you was dunking on black men, it would be 100 plus in here. Bro, facts. If y'all agree with Win Loser Rug, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, give me a thumbs down. The same audience is the, 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 the anti black male audience is the same as the anti black woman audience, which is crazy. They all know each other, they all friends. You know what I'm saying? They all talk. It's, it's, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? But YouTube is just like high school. I ain't never been a part of the in crowd, and I'm and I'm cool with it. <laughs> Marry me. He's American, and I didn't want that. I ended that when I'm when I'm at Walter. I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? I mean, hey, I agree. I'm I'm, I'm just trying to talk to me. Uh huh. No, I'm not the type of girl that can. I'm not the type of girl that's gonna have to that can that have to wait for a long time before I marry someone. That's not even what she said. She said that she didn't have to wait a long time to have a baby. 
Who who says that? How many of y'all would be proud of your daughter if you watched the interview with your daughter and she said something like that? Yeah, I'd be down to have a interv- uh, I'd be down to have a baby after a week of knowing somebody. Would y'all be Would y'all be happy if your daughter said that? So that's a good question. I, I'm not I'm not softballing no, it. No, no, I'm at you. No, I, I, I'm, I'm she's like, I'm like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush like monogamy. So I'm accepting bro, this, but, like, but you want to have a baby with him, bro? Facts. People shadow banned and they got a whole line of red super chats across the board. Facts. Seriously, I want that. I want that kind of shadow banning. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the kind of whatever the kind of shadow banning is that these people have, where they be having like hundreds and thousands of people in their chat, and where they be having five and six red super chats across the stream, that's the shadow banning that I want. These motherfuckers is victims on YouTube, bro. You know what I'm saying? They liars. They got to follow a narrative. Team sport. YouTube is a team sport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I'm not, I just feel like I'm not hey. the type of girl that I have to be with someone for years. To be- hey, that's a good question, LS. Yeah, facts. Exactly, Alonzo. That redacted level shadow ban. Facts. <laughs> LS says, is this her first child since she only has to like you for a week? That's a good question. I, I don't I don't know. The way that she's moving, you would think that is not, right? You know what I'm saying? And I gotta agree with my man Terrence. She's lying. If you guys agree with Terrence, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, give me a thumbs down. I agree 100 percent She's straight up lying. She's straight up lying. Get married, or if if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like a week. Like, it's not. It doesn't matter. It's the time. Who says that? I. Who says that? And here's another thing. Like, just who says that? Let's just deal with what she said. Who says that? Man, bro, shout out to Grind and Motivate because he said this in his stream yesterday. She's playing the ditzy role. Facts, bro. She's playing, man. She is doing what she can to upplay that di- that ditzy role. She's playing that ditzy role like crazy, l- l- bro. Facts. Look at how she's glitching while she's answering that question. And here's how do how did everybody just skip over these parts, man? Like. That none of that is concerning. None of that is of concern. Like seriously. Now listen, man. Let me ask y'all this: If she was black and had said these crazy answers, what would happen? Let me know what y'all think would have happened. Doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months. He really wanted to marry me. He's American, and I didn't want that. I ended that when I'm when I met Walter. I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? I mean, I, I gotta agree with Finance Man. Finance Man says she is very disrespectful. Fact, she's insulting everybody's intelligence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If y'all agree with fi- Finance Man that she's very disrespectful, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, then give me a thumbs down. She's extremely disrespectful. She disrespects herself. Just relentlessly taking loads because you can't you you're you're not worried about having a week a baby a week later. Well, now you got a baby. See, like the way that she's handling the situation is not like this is how she was moving. Because if you're moving like this, then you got to expect this to happen at some point. Oh, finance man must be a little bit uh, behind in the video. They don't want to meet his black ass. The parents don't. Right. Yeah, I got to agree. So now here, here goes my thing, right? The very people who have these parents that don't want to meet their black significant other are the exact same people that sit there and say that racism doesn't exist. So why is it that he can't meet? Why is it that Fresh can't meet her parents? And how many people think that her family is ashamed of her that she that she likes black guys? If you guys do, give me a thumbs up. If you guys think that her family is ashamed, then give me a thumbs up. If you guys don't, 
then give me a thumbs down. I think her family is ashamed. I think her family is a traditional, racist, white-loving Asian family. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I'm 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 just trying to talk to me. Uh huh. No, I'm not the type of girl that can. I'm not the type of girl. Facts. How many of y'all ever heard that saying? Once you go black, you can't go back. <laughs> not once you go black, you don't go back. Once you go black, you can't go back. That's that's her problem now. That's why she's passing out about this for real, for real. Because she now that this all over the place. Man, do you think her little Asian family at home, they, they going to want to be seen with her? Aren't you the one who's involved with the scandal with the black man? Weren't you involved with the scandal with the black man? She going to go outside, you know what I'm saying? All the people going to be staring at her. She going to be walking through the corridor crying. Sad music going to be playing. Violins all over the place. <laughs> oh, man. Think about that, man. Think about that. How could you be with somebody where their family and culture look at you like you've infected them with a disease? These degenerate non-black people. If the parents, if you can't meet her parents, bro, call it a day. All these people do is substantiate every negative stereotype that we have about them. And it could be, it could be. Shout out to Professor Days. She could just be letting everybody just shoot rockets off in her so that she could have a baby and stay in the United States. It could be. I don't know though, because it's not, I don't know if that's the case or not. I don't really, I don't want to, uh, you know, say that that's the case because I don't have no evidence, you know what I'm saying, that would prove that. That would, that would just be me making an assumption. What I do have proof of is that she's not very bright. And what I also have proof of is that for some reason, Fresh didn't meet her parents. And what we also have proof of is that she said here that she's the kind of girl that could just have a baby after a week. So that means that, you know, if she's dating anybody, then after a week, a baby is fair game. I'm, after a week, everybody busting in her. For the most part. That's what that, that's what that translates into. Well, I could have a baby after a week. So what that means is after a week, you know what I'm saying? I'm busting in you. That's what that means. Oh man, it would it, it would be sexy red, Sukihana, you know what I'm saying? Glorilla. <laughs> She got a whole defense force, man. She got a whole defense force. Now, mind you, right, the U.S. government finna be paying, you know, she about to be getting child support from Fresh, right? She finna probably, you know, she probably can figure out a way to hide her income. So she's going to be probably getting some food stamps and stuff like that. But you got Abba and Preach, man, volunteering to pay her legal fees. To a woman who probably would not, her parents would not allow Abba, Preach, or Fresh to sit down at their table because they're Asian and they think that they're better than you. If that Asian community is so much better, then let them deal with this. Let them deal with Fresh. I'm not trying to be funny, man, but her decision making is not very telltale of high IQ. How many people would say that she's made high IQ decisions? If you guys would say that she's made high IQ decisions, give me a thumbs up. If you guys wouldn't say that she made high IQ decisions, then give me a thumbs down. These are not high IQ decisions. These are not model decisions. This is a model of everything that you shouldn't be. Now, here go my question, right? All the people that be going in on the passport bros all the time, how do you go in on the passport bros and then cape for this chick right here? Because that's what the passport bros is going to get, a chick like that. So how you caping for the passport bros, but then at the same time, then you turn around 
and go in on fresh. As a matter of fact, she said that when they first started the relationship, she was in her home country, which would have made fresh similar to a passport bro. So an another thing that this is doing, if you ask me, this is exposing the inconsistencies and this is exposing the agendas within the broader YouTube community. The broader YouTube community is inherently flawed. Would you guys agree? The broader YouTube community could benefit from the purity of oblivion. <laughs> Would you guys agree? Girl, that's gonna have to that can I have to wait for a long time before I marry someone. Huh? What type of girl is that? I mean, there's plenty of people who meet their husbands for the first time through arranged marriages or whatever. Yeah, yeah, weird. But, but I, I don't disagree. I'm just saying that's not that weird. abnormal in different parts weird. of the world. It still doesn't answer the question. It doesn't answer the question of why you want to rush this baby. Right. Nah, shout out to uh shout out to Finance Man. Not see, I think I think Finance Man is a little bit behind in the stream. But see, even Finance Man is saying a week. Oh, we picked up on it, bro. <laughs> we definitely picked up on it. And he said in the chats where he was at, people was getting mad at him. I don't understand why anybody would have got mad at you, bro. She the one that said it. And then the thing that's interesting about it, she said it. That's wild. I've been preached, didn't press her on it. You know what I'm saying? I've been preached, didn't press her on it. Which they should have, because that's wild. And I got to agree. 100% agreed. And they are only cool with black men if we kiss in a woman's boot or wearing a dress. Facts. Super facts. I'm telling y'all, this, like most situations that you look at, the Diddy situation, this situation, they expose the inherent flaws of YouTube and the content creators on YouTube. They're agenda driven, agenda based. Most people come with their content. From a stance of, I have to maintain this agenda, I have to maintain this narrative, and I have to not upset my audience. And this is what you get. This is what you get. The very people that talk about accountability, literally not letting anybody, not holding anybody accountable to anything. So I don't even know what me. Do you all know what Mimi was talking about? Because I don't nobody even addressed anybody seed or black men. And again, this is what we talking about. We got this comment right here. Now it's black men that got this chick pregnant. Y'all see what I'm talking about? So you don't see your own seed as special, ma'am. My seed's not inside that woman. So because Fresh doesn't see himself as special, black men are not special. Damn, don't hate yourself. So we all hate ourselves because Fresh is an idiot. <laughs> Everybody put some crying symbols in the chat. Put some crying emojis in the chat. We all hate ourselves because Fresh is an idiot. I told you, I told you, anytime somebody does anything, we all ran a train on her. You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense, man. We all ran a train on her. Fresh going to be okay because we all got to pay fractional child support. Black men got her pregnant. <laughs> Black men got her pregnant. First of all, she's not white. And first of all, that has a lot to do with it because love has to do with the family. And if her family can't accept him, that needs to be shamed. What's wrong with you people that you can't accept the fact that somebody is different than you? That's that's the problem. Are you serious? Stop caping for these people, man. 
it's not Fresh's fault that her degenerate ass family won't accept him because he's a black man. If that's not a race issue, then what is? Are you serious? And why should anybody have to be quiet about that when that's stuff we got to deal with every day? I'm not going to be quiet about something just to make other people happy and to appease to them about it. If that's how you want to live your life, then that's on you. You got the freedom to do that. This is America. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to do that. Look at this. I want y'all to read Leroy's comment. Look, we all sometimes, though, look, we all sometimes, though we find true love with the wrong person. Who said anything about finding true love? This ain't even about love. They wasn't in love with each other. We we find out she thought she find someone to make a family but turned out wrong. No, she didn't. She le- How can you find a family letting someone bust nuts in your guts after a week? Where do they teach that at? Show me any life coach, any church, anybody that teaches any kind of human values that promotes that. The only place you will find something like that is in dark corners of degeneracy. Are you serious? She thought she found someone to make a family with. What kind of family? With the other women that Fresh was messing around with? Because she was aware that he was in a polygamous relationship. But turned out wrong. Why you bring out the black and white? Because why she didn't bring him to her parents' house? You know what I'm saying? We hate ourselves. We all, we all, we all got Daisy pregnant, y'all. All of us did it. Win, lose, a rug. We're going to be right behind each other. In the child support line, AB Promotions, you too. Save your super chats, y'all. We got to pay Daisy's child support because this was an episode of Blacked, and black men got Daisy fit pregnant. Shout out to Detroit 313. What's good with you, bro? (laughs) We got her pregnant. You know what I'm saying? It's a group effort. You know what I'm saying? It's a group effort. Look, look, look. But I can say you look a little overweight and you could get healthier from going to the gym. You probably don't get a full hard on. So go to the doctor. You're probably right. Everybody has seen me before. I'm morbidly obese. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, it's like it's 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 like three minute microwave ramen below. You're right. You're absolutely right. And and but again, right? As 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 bad as as bad as my situation is, you know what I'm saying? My urology situation, me and all of my fellow black men got Daisy pregnant. So there's that. Now, shout out to RJ Quick. RJ Quick says black and white interracial slash relationships are perfect examples of failed parenting. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but I can see where people come from when they say particular things about that. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot like now Umar Johnson. That's that's all him. He would say, yeah, that's that's definitely a failed relationship. Me personally, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I think I, I think that. Nowadays people don't vet. I think nowadays people jump into everything. And I think nowadays a lot of stuff that's in the environment pollutes people's minds on what it is that they need to be looking for in a relationship. And a lot of times when people do get into interracial relationships is because of that environmental pollution that's causing them to see something in that that's not really there. It's an illusion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, bro. We all it was like a frat party. <laughs> it was it was a it was a it was a frat party. <laughs> right. Put the angel dust down before you end up getting pregnant, quote unquote, by men. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations to you and your husband. What's hilarious about this is that 
everybody in the chat except you has seen me before and I'm nowhere near fat, but okay. Probably because she's she's one of those people that believes that everyone's everyone's sperm is swim, is swimming around inside of inside of uh, old girl, inside of Daisy. She just got tadpoles from everybody just swimming around inside the belly pond, because they actually believe this stupid shit on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? They actually believe this shit. I'm crazy. But you're visibly describing somebody that you've never seen in your entire life. Okay. But you don't want you like you don't want to rush the monogamous relationship because yeah. it doesn't answer anything. Yeah. It doesn't. As a matter of fact, you made it weirder. So I'm still questioning. Like, it doesn't absolve the the the, the, the it doesn't absolve of, or, or or take out of the equation the baby trapping thing situation because of that answer. That answer was so. But that's not baby trapping. That's just what she's saying is. There's some people out here who are just very like feels oriented. Yeah, that's facts. That's that's facts. Going to the gym for weight loss is not a flex. Your eating habits lead to weight gain. Your sedentary lifestyle. Facts. <laughs> facts. If you guys agree with RJ Quick, gotta be got a typical delusion modern modern woman in the chat. Only one laughing at our jokes. Mimi B. Yeah. And then and then there's the fact that, you know, of course, I have to get a job. I have to get a job. Now, mind you, this is probably someone that watches people that stream for 12 hours a day on YouTube. But I got to get a job. Now, here's the thing. I sue people, Mimi. I sue people. I will tear your assets apart. So you want to keep libeling and slandering about me in the chat? Meaning, oh, I loved her. Well, how do you know? It's been a week. I just feel it. Like some people are just like that. You know what I'm saying? They're very intuitive. Everything is just. You know what we call them? What? Stupid. Everyone. That's not very smart. That's not. That, that. I agree. It's not smart. Of course, of course not, LS. I'm unemployed. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I was unemployed is because I was busy in the group effort of impregnating Daisy. Man, with the with that with that crypto style lawsuit, bro, they not ready. They not ready. They not ready. I'm not trying to be, but I want y'all, fellas, pay attention to this, right? I want y'all to pay attention to this. This is how a lot of women get their significant others hurt. They'll come bouncing and bobbing and weaving and won't shut the hell up all over the place in places that they're not used to. And then talk about they'll go get their man or bring their husband up. And then their husband comes in contact with the person that their his wife was harassing all day. You, you do you feel like you have something to prove here because you're the one that's going around telling everybody else that they don't have a job. I'm glad you have a medical nursing agency. How many facilities are you contracted with and what kind of staff do you all send? <laughs> What's the name of it? Let's pull up the uh, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid report.
this is this is the same thing. Shout out to Anna. What's good with you, Anna? This is the same thing that people do when they got to have an expensive car or they got to have some flashy clothes. You got to you got to come into the chat telling everybody about your personal business that what you're doing at home. We don't care. We didn't say you didn't have any of that stuff. Why are you so self-conscious that you got to tell everybody about your husband? Nobody, nobody, even, I'm not, no offense, but like nobody really cares whether you're married or not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't care. We didn't ask you if you were married or not. We honestly didn't ask you anything. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And shoot it to me in the discord. Anna said, BLR, should I send you a link of this fool on the red pill crap? He has gone so far. It was a live stream. Well, you talking about Myron? <laughs> oh, shout out to this is a test name. One, two, three, man. Make sure y'all show this is a test name. One, two, three, some love. Throw some flames, radiation emoji in the chat. Good to see you. Yeah, a lot of times, a, a lot of times, People, husbands don't want their business out there like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I told y'all finance man was behind. But again, what what I want y'all to pay very close attention. Why, why is Mimi coming in here caping for Daisy? Did you, Mimi, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Daisy's family wouldn't work a supply chain deal out with your company. And and yeah, this is good advice, but why do you assume that people in here don't have a certificate in in the medical field? Why do you why do you feel that that people don't? Why why are you assuming that everybody in here is not educated? I don't know who Daisy. Would it, I, I don't. Wh why are you watching the stream? If you want to talk about medical issues, I got a channel called BLRC19 Report. Believe it or not, we actually talk about medical issues on that channel. You know, like vector-borne pathogens and stuff like that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to this is a test name one, two, three. Many of us have licenses. Facts. Do y'all notice that when it comes to on YouTube, like you like I said before, you don't even have to go into that white supremacist part of YouTube. When you write you 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 got people right in the chat that claim to be black that just start going in on black people for no reason. <laughs> make it make sense. I'm ignorant, but we never asked you about your life or your personal business, and you just came in and decided to tell us all of it. <laughs> Let me ask you this. If you're so fulfilled by your business and by your marriage, why are you in here trying to get attention from us when we never mentioned anything about you at all? And you don't know who Daisy is, but Daisy is in the title. She's in the title. <laughs> hey, Tara said her husband is glad. She's on YouTube right now, leaving him alone. That's hilarious. How do you know 
that no one in here has a medical certificate. And what kind of medical certificate? A respiratory therapist, an occupational therapist, a speech therapist, a LPN, a RN, a STNA, a medical doctor, a DO, an anesthesiologist, an oxygen technician. What are you talking about? What kind of certificate? What is a medical certificate? You mean you, somebody should learn how to do medical records? <laughs> what medical certificate? Which one? There's a lot of quote unquote medical certificates. Okay. All right. So yeah, we got some weirdness going on. I'm gonna keep this going here. It's, 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 like I, if, having kids with somebody you met a week ago. Maybe what if he claimed he never wanted a baby? Would that be true? She didn't want. Okay. If he say so, if he really didn't want a baby, after so many times I ask him in person, do not come in me. He does that every fucking day. Like he can just pull out. Easy as that. So notice how she doesn't even mention, or they could if they could use abstinence, or he could use a condom, or she could get on birth control. So now here go the thing, right? She said he could just pull out. But let me ask y'all this question. Could she still get pregnant if he pulled out? Or facts. Or she could keep her legs closed. Facts. And he could keep it in his pants. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But both of them chose against doing that. Is there's some people out here who are just very like feels oriented, meaning, oh, I loved her. Well, how do you know? It's been a week. I just feel it. Like some people are just like that. You know what I'm saying? They're very intuitive. Everything is just you know what we call them. What? Stupid. Everyone. That's not very smart. That's not. That's not I agree. It's not smart. It's, it's it, like ha maybe, having kids maybe, with somebody you met a week ago. Maybe. What if he claimed he never wanted a baby? Would that be true? She didn't want. OK. If he say so, if he really didn't want the baby after so many times I asked him in person. Do not come in me. He does that every fucking day. Like so, so sh wait a minute. Hold on. She asked him. She asked him not to come in her. Right. This is what she's saying. She's claiming that she asked him not to come in her. But they showed the text messages where, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's some text messages out there where it shows her not objecting to it. And and again, like this is consensual. This is consensual sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is hilarious right here. I am black American, first of all, but okay. And again, this this is another problem on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's a tether now. <laughs> Everybody's a tether. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me ask you this question. What country did Larry Elder come from? Where did where did Larry Elder tether from? Where did Clarence Thomas tether from? Where did Ben Carson tether from? <laughs> nah, she, she she asking for pay to play. <laughs> That's what she asking for. She asking for pay to play. You are not black American. Uh, yeah, actually I am. But okay, sure. How am I not black American? Explain this to me.
I'm about to get about to get roasted. But it's not it, this it's not a woman. It's a it's a it's a guy behind a woman's profile. You know what I'm saying? Like he can just pull out. Easy as that. Because he was always like, Oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. So really serious conversation. Like So we got shout out to Win Loser Rug and shout out to Professor Days. We got two people that want members only. If you guys want pay for play, give me a thumbs up. If y'all don't, give me a thumbs down. Leroy said, okay, I know if he don't want her, but the child is no matter what happens. This is his child if both of them are right or wrong. Their child, two of them have sex without protection. That is his child. Nobody said that it wasn't. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that that's what the argument was. And I also don't think that the argument was not for him to take care of his child either. I, I, I this is what I'm this is what I'm talking about on YouTube. I think it's I think it's hilarious though. <laughs> Louis Scott Nye says, "Don't let this human filth derail your flow." Straight attention grabby BS vibes. Yeah. Now here go my question: Who you think is more human filth, Mimi or Daisy? Which, what do y'all think? Planning a future and ask me what I want to do. Oh, I want to plan a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? That doesn't make sense. Wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said, um, what, what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? Is that baby trapping? They're going to end up together. Is that baby trapping? I'm asking. Is that now? Here goes my question: Where where did this argument of trying to disprove baby trapping come into play? Yeah, I gotta agree. I gotta agree with Lloyd's got nine. <laughs> now here here's the thing: Whoever said that this was about baby trapping? Literally, this entire time has been about neither one of them being responsible adults. So you got this tactic now where it's, well, see, I debunked the baby trapping. I debunked the baby trapping. I don't know whoever made the, the maybe Fresh and Fit made the claim that it was baby trapping, but. I don't know who made that claim. You know what I'm saying? Baby trapping. You out here talking about let's get a house together because what if you get pregnant? It's that baby trapping, my brother. I'm just asking. Just asking the question. It's not. It's not. Guys. I understand what you're saying when you're saying it's not, but some of these answers, oh. I think they're irresponsible, but that doesn't mean baby yeah. trapping. No. I Those exactly. are separate things. Exactly. Not pregnant, no baby. She tells that to Walter. He says, oh, you did a pregnancy test? She says, yeah, my period just came and five days ahead. So you play a good game. Okay, what game? Uh, um, This game on bed. I'm confused. Don't worry, we all are. I don't think anybody understood what she meant. And she goes, just kidding. I meant you are safe. Just letting you know. Next time you won't be so lucky. What's that saying? I'm not having a baby. I'm having your baby. Yeah. Next time you're not going to be so lucky. And what did he write? Oh, I wasn't worried. I didn't want to pull out anyway. But that's good that you got your period. So, oh, so you're being, a, she's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him. And all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot. And once you're happy, I'm happy. So again, let me ask you guys this. When she, when she saw that he didn't have any respect for her, why didn't she just leave him alone? I'm not trying to be funny, man, but how many warning signs do Fresh got to give? Let me ask you all this in the comment section to the ladies. How many of you all would deal with a man that completely just clearly disrespects you and doesn't care? about what you want like this. Yeah, I gotta agree. Both are toxic people engaging with each other, facts. Convo was weird as hell, weird as hell. Yeah, and she thought she was special, facts. She's not, you're not special. You know what I'm saying? You're not special. 
you're being a, she's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him, and all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot, and once you're happy, I'm happy. So can you understand why she's confused? He but he not he refusing to pull out, busting inside them sugar walls. And now all of a sudden he's been trapped. He don't want to be a dad. But again, it's not about being trapped. It's about they were both being irresponsible. They're both being irresponsible. She sees Fresh moving irresponsibly, and she doesn't do anything on her own to mitigate the situation. Yeah, yeah, this, and this is that. This is what I'm talking about. This is that grandstanding. This is that manipulation. Like, bro, nobody made the nobody tried to make the point that she quote unquote baby trapped him. She's not a victim. She contributed to this just as much as Fresh did. And again, I get it that Abba and Preach got issues with Fresh and Fit. They don't like Fresh and Fit. Of course, Fresh is the bad guy. But at the same time, no, this girl, this, this Daisy chick, she's not the good guy. She, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no good guys in this situation. Exactly. Now, check this out, right? Let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Abba's sitting up here talking about how good of an interview this is. I haven't heard him really ask uh, her directly why she overlooked all of the red flags. All of the red flags, she just made workarounds. She just did workarounds for all of the red flags. Well, I know that he's just going to mess around with people anyway, so I'm going to let him have a monogamous relationship. Okay, off the rip, you've invited him to completely disrespect you. You need to set those boundaries. Nah, don't be messing with all these other women if you're with me. But she didn't do that. Nah, you can go ahead and do whatever you want. Okay. Now, according to her, he's just <laughs> he's just re re relentlessly, you know what I'm saying, bussing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm mad at you. Oh, I'm mad at you. Okay, stop him from doing that. Because clearly he's not going to stop on his own. Either stop him from doing that or get out of the situation. But notice how she didn't do that. Why would you overlook all of those red flags? And why is nobody asking her, why did you overlook all of this stuff? What was so special about him that you just let him do all of this insanity and get away with it? And still say, I love he, I love he. Like, seriously? You have decided that you were not going to pull out of her vagina. So you're not going to pull out of fatherhood. <laughs> hey, baby. You are not going to pull out of fatherhood. You're going to take care of the baby. He has no choice. He's going to pay. If I say, bro, I'm going to punch you in the face. Yo, I missed last time, but this time I'm going to punch you in your face. And then I'll punch you in your face. No, no, wait, 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 wait. What is that? Hold up. Is that a sucker punch? No, it's not a sucker punch. Especially if you tell me you're going to punch me in my face and I tell you, whatever makes you happy. You see what Preach did right there? You see what Preach said right there? That's important. And that just got down. That just got overlooked. Because that's exactly what happened. Abba's little example of trying to make it seem like it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now, preach, he said, especially if you say whatever makes you happy, right? Because you got the option to defend yourself if that person says punch you in the face, right? So why did she choose not to defend herself? Why did she choose to say, well, if it makes you happy? But now watch this. I guarantee you they won't expand on what preach said at all. And I look at you like, whatever makes, if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Bro. I get dicked in the mouth. That's not a sucker punch. Boys, you were not sucker punched. Take some accountability. Hold that out. Did you always tell him that you would not get an abortion? Oh, I always, I always told him. He knows I'm not getting any abortion. And plus, he, he didn't care at all. He was like, he, he was kind of like just admitted that if he he's gonna make make me pregnant, he's just gonna like raise a baby with me. And he he he, he didn't like say that, but all the 
so he <laughs> wait a minute. So she said he said that if she got if he got her pregnant, she would raise he would raise the baby with her. And then she turned around and said that he wait, he didn't say it like that. He didn't say that. Look, listen. Oh, I always I always told him he knows I'm not getting any abortion. And plus he didn't care at all. He was like he he was kind of like just admitted that if he he's gonna make make me pregnant, he's just gonna like raise a baby with me. And he 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 didn't like say that. But well, then what did he say? <laughs> he said that if he got me pregnant, that he raised a baby with me. But that ain't what he said. Well, what did he say? Facts, Terrence. Facts. Let me ask y'all this. If a body language person reviewed this, what do y'all think that they would say? What would the body language person say? I just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just, it, it's a clear agenda with the interview. And it, it, it would have just been more beneficial if you asked me if it was authentic. And if this woman here was held to the same standards as everybody else. But she's not held to the same standards as everybody else. Everybody coddling her with kid gloves. You know what I'm saying? But all the, this, this, his action proves that. Doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because, uh. I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me, but then, okay, okay, but at least how can if you how can you be how can you be sure somebody's serious about you if you give them the invitation to let off shotgun rounds in you, figuratively, after a week? How can anybody know that you're serious after a week? Come on, man. <laughs> the. Shout out to Win, Lose, a Rug. Win, Lose, a Rug said, I can't believe Destiny went in on her. The only reason why I can believe that Destiny went in on her is because he knows how fake polygamy is. He knows how fake polygamy is. Get an abortion. Oh, I always, I always told him he knows I'm not getting any abortion, and plus, he didn't care at all. He was like, he, he was kind of like just admitted that if he, he's gonna make make me pregnant, he's just gonna like raise a baby with me, and he, 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 he didn't like say that, but all the this, this his action proves that. Doesn't Let me ask y'all this question, right? Shout out to Finance Man. First, first question is, do y'all agree with Finance Man? If y'all agree with Finance Man, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, give me a thumbs down. The second question is, what would you consider a woman that lets you bust in her after a week and is perfectly okay with getting pregnant by you? Is that somebody that you take serious and you want to marry and advance your wife or advance your life with mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you no because uh i was pretty sure that he was so serious about me but then okay okay but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me i'm gonna get pregnant i think it's just a uh, misunderstood maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible but for me he's serious yeah, yeah, because I've never met someone like that. Nobody would treat me like that. Like, this is so evil. I've never met anyone like that. I'm not. There's stories about people getting treated like this every day, B. And I ain't trying to be funny, but you didn't do anything to try to protect yourself. Like, the way that, the way that she explained how she moves in life is literally an invitation to get treated like this. It's an actual invitation. She's sitting up here acting like she confused. I ain't trying to be funny, man, but I swear when you look at this, when you watch this stream and anytime you watch her talk, it looks like she's laughing. 
Because it's almost like are it's almost like she's like, are these people that stupid that they believe what's coming out of my mouth? Because I don't even believe this nonsense that I'm saying, and I'm getting over on them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real quick, if you guys haven't smashed the like button yet, take a moment, smash the like button. Also, if you guys haven't hit the bell, make sure y'all take a moment, hit the bell, and share the stream to your social media. Yeah, she's straight up dishonest and loves it. And that's fact. Shout out to Finance Man. They never think, 304s never think that they're 304s. I'm not, what, let's ask, what, what would a woman call another woman who lets dudes that they've only known for a week bust in them? Because you know how it is, you know what I'm saying? It can be the same situation and you're looking at it. But if you're a man, if you say something about it, then it's just everybody's head explodes. Right. So this is why we got to ask women. What would you all call. A woman that lets people bust in them after a week, what would you call that? What would women call that? Bro, I don't understand. I do not understand. And, and the only reason why people are crashing out for it is for one, because they don't like um, because they don't like fresh and fit and because she's not black. Man, if she was black, bro, they would be going in on her. Which is wild. Professor Day says, I kind of don't blame her for wanting to laugh. It's laughable how people are crashing out for her. She doesn't even believe she's worth this much respect. Facts. Her parents definitely don't think she's worth that. <laughs> Look at this. Yo, the people online find more value in this chick than her own parents do. Her own parents wasn't even trying to entertain none of the fact that, you know what I'm saying? She was with Fresh and she got Fresh pregnant or, or he Fresh got her pregnant. Man, easy like Sunday morning. Facts. Easy like a day off. You know what I'm saying? Easy like a day off. He's kind of like just admitted that if he, he's going to make make me pregnant, he's just going to like raise a baby with me. And he, 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 he didn't like say that, but all the... This this his action proves that doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because uh, I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me. But then, okay, okay, but at least at least he's not stupid. That if he does this to me, I'm gonna get pregnant. I think it's just uh, misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible. But for me, he's serious. Yeah. But so now notice how she's saying he's the only one that's being irresponsible in the, in the equation. He's the only one. She's not being irresponsible whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've never met someone like that. Nobody would treat me like that. Like, this is so evil. I've never met anyone like that. I'm not acting like a naive girl right here. Like, I traveled a lot of places. Now, you know, why? Why? here go my thing. If you're not acting like a naive girl, why did you say that then? Why did you say that? the child with you no because uh i was pretty sure that he was so serious about me but then okay okay but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me i'm gonna get pregnant i think it's just a uh, misunderstood maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible but for me he's serious yeah yeah because i've never met someone like that nobody would treat me like that like this is so evil i've never met anyone like that I'm not acting like a naive girl right here. Like I traveled a lot of So I'm not trying to listen. You if that's the case, if what she's saying is correct, right? If she's not lying and what she's saying is correct, you're lucky. You letting you inviting people to bust in you after a week and you never got treated like this. You oh man, you better start playing some lottery because you got really good luck. You got really good luck. Your whole get down is that you will let somebody bust after a week and this has never happened to you? Congratulations, sweetie. I mean, damn, you beat the you beat the brakes off the odds. Places, <laughs> but nothing like this. 
See, that didn't make much sense to me because in my head, I'm like, so you want to be serious with somebody and you want to have a child with them, but you're not getting them to verbally say they also really want to have a child with them. Shouldn't that be something y'all established properly? Mm. And how, how long have they been to, to... Right. See, now, see, Abba said, isn't that something that y'all should establish properly? Right. That's something that y'all should establish property, properly, right? But the, but the way that they're formulating this video is that this is all on Fresh Prince CEO. It's not. It's not. I'll be the unpopular person to say it. I don't care. I don't care if everybody's so anti-fresh and fit that, you know what I'm saying, they just they just can't speak the truth. I don't like fresh and fit at all. Fresh is an idiot for his part in this. You know what I'm saying? But she definitely bears some responsibility for her own demise as well. Right. And and I agree. That's where fresh that's where Fresh Prince CEO is messing up, Leroy. Wait, he said that he will take care of the baby, but when she said she's pregnant, he is scared like you tell someone to buy an expensive car not knowing expensive it come with expensive it come with it. So yeah. Right. But at the same time, she's letting him test drive the car. And then he got in an accident with the test drive. Because she said, sure, you could take the test drive for 100 miles an hour down the freeway. You know what I'm saying? Together? Four or five months? Amy busting inside her sugar walls every day, never pulling up. Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever, or it's just like, so I just want to at least see. Mimi says, why are we in grown folks' bedroom business? We're not in people's bedroom business. These are text messages that were on people's phones. There's about 10 other channels, actually probably more than that, that are talking about this. Are you policing them? And literally half of the content on YouTube is about dick or vagina policing. Matter of fact, you brought your bedroom business into this chat that we really didn't need to hear about telling us about your husband. And also, there's no we here. You're not part of the we. There's a you and then there's everybody else. Right. Just like the news is nosy. Just like Fox News is nosy. Just like New York Post is nosy. Just like New York Times is nosy. Just like ABC and CBS are nosy, right? So I expect to see you commenting and policing their comment section saying that they're nosy. Just like Mark Dice is nosy, right? Just like Tim Pool is nosy, right? And I expect you to be over there in the comment section saying that those channels are nosy. Got to be consistent. Whatever you say here, you're going to say at those other places or you won't be saying anything here anymore. Now, mind you, Abba and Preach did an interview with this woman, right? Abba and Preach aren't nosy. Daisy, Daisy Fit just called into Duke and Don's stream, their last stream that they did. Duke and Don aren't nosy. He must not be. Because if he was, you wouldn't feel the need to compare him to every man that you don't know. And, and you assume that I'm not a neurosurgeon. <laughs> you assume that I'm not a neurosurgeon. Okay. She had actual real paperwork. Uh, yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted. The, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can't, she can't see everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small 
pour, pour it over. But it's just does does your does your does your husband know about your surgery? Does he know that? Does he know about the surgery that you had? It's like two, it's too early, you know, it's four weeks. How did you know Pug CEO was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I have no idea. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like maybe everything happens. It, it was mean to, you know, to meet him even. Look at this. Now, here goes my question. How effectively is she answering this question? Hmm. And how, how long have you been to, together? Four or five months. And you bust inside her sugar walls every day. Never pull it out. Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever, or it's just like, so I just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork. Uh, yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted. The, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can, she can see everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small photo of it. But it's just like, too, it's too early, you know? It's four weeks. How did you know Pug CEO was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I have no idea. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like maybe everything happens. It, it was mean to be, you know, to meet him even. Uh, out of out of all the people in Miami, uh, every day I go out, I get so many. Um, how does it um, approach? She says that every time she goes out, she gets a lot of approaches. Now, here goes my question. She, here goes my question. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's weird at this point. She's lying. She says that she, she says that she gets a lot of approaches. So if you get a lot of approaches before fresh, how many other times did you apply these same rules that you applied to fresh with other people that you were talking to? This is how she lives her life. How did you know Pug CEO was the man to bust in your sugar walls? That's a wild question right there. That's a wild question. Was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I have no idea. I just I just feel like I just feel like maybe everything happens it, it was mean to be, you know. So she didn't have so what she's saying right here is that she didn't have any qualifications. She had no qualifiers. So there was nothing that set him apart from somebody else. To make him special. Facts. Facts. If you guys agree with Terrence, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree with Terrence, give me a thumbs down. Fresh is a sucker. This ain't nothing but girl game. You know what I'm saying? And I've been preached sitting up here making this video trying to act like it's not. Shout out to the lovely Sherry. Sherry, what's going on with you, Sherry? This ain't nothing but girl game. And it's, and it's always somebody like Abba or like, you know what I'm saying? Or, or one of these dudes, Destiny, that weaponizes that girl game to make their red pill nemesis look bad instead of calling it all out across the board. We can't go in on this chick because if we go in on this chick, it's going to make it look like we got we're taking up for fresh. Who cares? Agendas run YouTube, man. Agendas run YouTube. YouTube is all about agendas. It's all about clicks. It's all about sectors. It's all about factions.
It's all about narratives. Everybody thirsty for subscribers. Everybody thirsty for super chats. Everybody thirsty for cash apps. Everybody just tell everybody what they want to hear. Instead of actually trying to get to the bottom of things. Which is cool. It is what it is. But people should be aware of that, though. All these people scared. You know what I'm saying? All these, all these people scared to actually say what's real versus what's not. I wouldn't be mad at that, Leroy. Leroy says everyone is saying what they want to say, but for me to put both of them on YouTube live TV together and let's talk to each other so we can know the truth. That's all. I think that's, that, that should happen. I wouldn't be mad at that if that happened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Professor Days, that YouTube gang life, people ready to meet cross country over it. Facts. Facts. <laughs> yeah, that's what they out here saying. Black men got Daisy pregnant like we had her up in the locker room after a game of basketball. Us black men got Daisy pregnant. I'm I'm about to I'm about to claim everybody then. If 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 when if we if if black men as a whole gets every chick pregnant that gets pregnant, I'm taking credit for hitting everything. And don't deny it when I say I hit when when I hit Cause you the one said it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How, how long they been to, together? Four or five months. Amy busting inside her sugar walls every day, never pulling out. Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is Photoshop or whatever. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! List who all did we get pregnant? <laughs> oh man, nobody. I don't know if anybody blocked you or not, Mimi. Did anybody block Mimi? We can if that's what you want. You want to be blocked? You want to pay to play? Putting up them Wilt the Stilt numbers. Facts. How many? <laughs> How many people did we get pregnant? You know what I'm saying? Come on, team. Let's make a roster. How many? <laughs> give me a B. B. Give me a L. L. Give me a A. A. Give me a C. C. Give me a K. K. Black. <laughs> Facts. Shout out to Terrence. No wonder Fred said he'd been with so many women. If he hit, we hit. Facts. And everybody we hit, he hit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. Or it's just like, so I just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork. Uh, yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted. The uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can't, she can't see everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small portal of it. But it's just like too it's too early you know it's four weeks how did you know pug ceo was the man to bust inside your sugar walls i have no idea i just i just feel like i just feel like maybe everything happens it was mean to you know to meet him even uh out of out of all the people in miami uh every day i go out i get so many um how to say um approach every day uh whatever the night we met at the party and there were other guys they were like another guy he's really really into me so fresh was there as well and i just don't know like somehow he just got me curious everybody like out of everybody like when they see me they see me interesting they would come talk to me or oh, making some nonsense but this guy he was just like staring at me not saying anything like full of questioning on his face that just caused my curiosity so usually so that's interesting right him standing there bewildered got her attention him being bewildered he <laughs> he was sitting there looking like he was lost in the sauce and that turned her on <laughs> fresh fresh ceo was sitting there so lost in the sauce and that turned her on listen listen guys they were like another guy he's really really into me so fresh was there as well 
And I just don't know, like somehow he just got me curious. Everybody, like all of everybody, like when they see me, they see me interesting, they would come talk to me or oh, making some nonsense. But this guy, he was just like staring at me, not saying anything. Like, So that, that, that right there, is actually like a little bit of game, right? Because this is this is the this is, she didn't respond to the dudes that were giving her compliments. Hey, you look good. Hey, you this. Hey, you that. Hey, come holla at me. She responded to the dude that was bewildered <laughs> that didn't say anything to her. Her words, not mine. Facts, facts, finance man. And that's why she wanted to talk to him because he was the only dude that wasn't feeding into her, into her narcotic into her narcotic, neurotic, attention withdrawal. Yeah, she saw a challenge that she wanted to conquer. Now she conquered the challenge. Now it's, I'm about to weaponize this, this whole thing. And she picked a goofy. Now look, check this out, right? How much content do it be on YouTube about women choosing right and all of this stuff? Literally nobody's nobody's questioning her choice of choosing this goofball fresh prince ceo make it make sense and so again check this out right what do they say about the statistics all of the how many times how many more approaches do women get than men she had now let me ask you this out of all of the dudes that approached her do you think that like half of them dudes was better than fresh do you think that she skipped over good quality men to be with the fresh prince ceo if you guys think that give me a thumbs up if you guys don't think that give me a thumbs down so now what on what basis did she choose Fresh Prince CEO, other than the fact that he looked like a bewildered bullfrog and didn't say anything to her except for ribbit. What 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 else? What else? What else was there? <laughs> there was no choosing criteria, and then based on no choosing criteria, you just let this dude just you know what I'm saying? Just fill your pastries with icing after a week. <laughs> I just feel like, I just feel like maybe everything happens. It was meant to be, you know, to meet him. Shout you know? out to Black First uh, Coffee. Out of, What's out good of with all you, the bro? people in Miami, uh, every day I go out, I get so many, um, how to say, um, approach every day, uh, whatever. The night we met at the party and there were other guys, there were like another guy, he's really, really into me. So Fresh was there as well. And I just don't know. <laughs> he wasn't into you like <laughs> he wasn't into you like Fresh is into you. <laughs> oh, he wasn't into you like how Fresh is into you. You know what I'm saying? Fresh, Fresh is so into you that he left a little present in there. <laughs> Oh, man, that's hilarious, man. Shout out to my man, Mike Mellis John. What's good with it, bro? <laughs> like, somehow, he just got me curious. Everybody, like, all of everybody, like, when they see me, they see me interesting, they would come talk to me or oh, making some nonsense. But this guy, he was just, like, staring at me, not saying anything, like, full of questioning on his face. That just caused my curiosity. She saw, When she saw him just standing there staring like a child from the crow, she knew we could make some little babies that don't talk together. You know what I'm saying? Them gonna be the those are gonna be the most quiet children anybody ever seen. <laughs> so usually, um, you know, I get a lot of approach, so it's not interesting for me. So I was like, okay, who's this guy? And then okay, finally he said hi to me. He's like, Where are you from? Then I said, Guess if you're right, um, I will drink. If you're wrong, then you drink. See, like, let me ask y'all this, man. How many of y'all why would you lead with that question, where are you from? I like see to me like that's just you know what I'm saying. I, I I don't know man like I. How many of y'all would do that? Where are you from? I don't know, that's, to, I don't, like to me like that's like that that's like that high school level type shit. And even even in high even like high school level I still. That's still 
still corny. I'm saying. So he was like, okay, this is interesting. And then he DM'd me. And then we went out. And he kind of, he's romantic. He's good at planning dates. And he's kind of dominant. He was just good at everything. You know? He was saying things to me that made <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <laughs> She said that Fresh Friend CEO was dominant. She said that he's very dominant and good at everything. <laughs> Uh, he kind of, he's romantic. He's good at planning dates. And he's kind of dominate. He... This, that, this is that Asian submissive hustle. Stop lying, lady. Shout out to Faith and Lighten. What's good with you, Faith? Stop lying. He dominate. Like, stop. Stop. I'm not trying to be funny, man, but yo, she's she's running. She, listen, hey, hey, she's running the game and the game is working. So, you know, again, like this is just proof that there's a lot of dudes out here that are susceptible to the game. This is what people need to pay attention to. She game in everybody. She didn't just game uh, fresh CEO. She gave, she tried to run that game on Destiny, but it didn't work, which is interesting because the game, who she's running the game on is a bunch of black dudes. And that's who she, you know what I'm saying, got pregnant by. She tried to run that shit on Destiny and Destiny put a halt to that shit immediately. And she ain't dealing with no white dude. That's interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's just interesting. He was just good at everything, you know. He was saying things to me that made made me feel he it's real, you know. Bro, he was genuine. And you know what and else? He made me you know what else? Let me ask y'all this. Shout out to Professor Days, because Professor Days is right. Them Asian females cashing in on that submissive hustle. Facts, right? Now, who who works as the free marketing department for the Asian females to cash in on that submissive hustle? Look at Jeannie May or whatever her name is, young Jeezy's uh X, what is she submitting? I bet you she'd be hanging off the ceiling fan wherever she go. Are you serious? But if you listen to cats on YouTube, you would think that all these chicks do is just give you a massage and you know what I'm saying? Like all this nonsense, man. These chicks crazy as hell, just like anybody else. I feel it, Faith. I know how it go. These chicks are crazy, just like anyone else. Oh, I see. You, you're from the gender war sector, and somebody hurt your feelings. Okay, I got it. That's what Fresh wants, and that's what Fresh got a baby with. Do y'all notice these weird trolls be coming into the comment section telling everybody what they want, even when they're not in their part of, when they're not in their sector of YouTube? <laughs> you don't know us. You don't know anybody over here. You don't know what the hell we want. But we, you've literally told us all of your family business that we don't care about. Who works as the free marketing department for these women? Gender war YouTube. Gender war YouTube. Mimi B is, is no different than the passport bros. Mimi B is no different than the passport bros. She's a bulletin board. Just like the passport, bros, for this right here. I thought you was a business mogul. Stop working for free. Yeah, gender war YouTube does. 
Ain't nothing exotic. Do you know what exotic means? Exotic means rare. Asians are the most populous group of people in the world. How are they exotic? How is the people with the largest number of people per capita in the entire world exotic, if exotic means rare? Goofy. He feels special. Maybe no matter what other people were saying, like what he did to other girls or... Well, even I found out later, though, not when I just started. You know, what did you think hearing this? What did I think about what? But so, yeah, you you really need a lot of attention because, again, you're the one in here attacking people, right? And most people that are aware of American history know about Louisiana Creoles. They know about people like Marie Laveau. They know about Bourbon Street. I mean. Who cares? Let me ask y'all this question. Does anybody care that Mimi is Creole? I mean, shout out to you, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mona Me. You know what I'm saying? Go get you some crawdads and, and some uh and some gumbo and relax. What you heard right now? I'm not sure. Because there's a whole narrative not, that this girl sure. was trying to baby trap him or she wasn't really into him. She's there for the money or whatever it is. But when I hear her speak, you notice her face. You know how she smiles when she thinks about him mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Like, I was actually surprised by this part because everyone's asking the same question. You know what people yeah. asking? Yeah. Yo, why'd yeah, you why, get with fresh? Yeah, yeah. yeah you've seen him, but you look at her. That's the face of somebody who's actually into him. But she was impressed. So she was like, mm, yeah, you got game. Yeah. So, nah, I don't believe that. I don't, I don't buy this. I don't buy the ABBA body language assessment how many of y'all buy the abba body language assessment if y'all agree with abba's body language assessment that oh this is the face of somebody that wants that wanted him then give me a thumbs up if y'all don't then give me a thumbs down <laughs> damn <laughs> oh man that's hilarious so he got so that's just one thing that I want to establish. Okay, why are you exposing him publicly? Why? Why? Because obviously now. I so let me ask you guys this: if she, if she, if this woman here is the one who exposed him publicly, quote unquote, is this us jumping into quote unquote their bedroom activity? Make it make sense. I hate him. I hate him for not being a man, stand up for his child, and not taking the responsibilities. I facts, facts. If you guys agree, if you guys agree with Professor Days, I guess so. Let YouTube talking points tell it. Give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, give me a thumbs down. I did, and this is why I keep trying to tell people: YouTube talking points will get you embarrassed in real life. Online talking points will get you embarrassed in life. They might actually, <laughs> they might actually put you in the hospital too. Depend on you know what I'm saying who you come at that stuff with. Depending on who you come uh, come at in the street with some YouTube talking points, you might end up in the ICU or worse. You know what I'm saying? After he can, he can. He doesn't have to love me or he can break up with me. That's fine. For me, it's okay. It's some guy I think for four months. I was I was like gonna get over with it. But I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This is just a, a bit of a sidewalk, but Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for 30 grand on a podcast. He said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get fresh on this one too. So Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long sleeve <laughs> bracelet, which are worth up to 30k to a Chinese escort you just met. <laughs> Hey, so now look at this, man. Do y'all remember how Fresh and Fit, like people just used to worship them? Now it's become when you watch Fresh and Fit, they just calling in roasting fresh. Man, that's crazy. <laughs>
<laughs> That's crazy, man. That's crazy. For me, it's okay. It's, it's some guy I've seen for four months. I was, I was like, gonna get over with it. But I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This is just a, a bit of a side one, but Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for 30 grand. On a podcast, he said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one, too. So, Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long sleeve <laughs> bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you just met. Now, Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. So many proof. But the escort says that you did. Look at her page in detail. What does she have under? Multiple gifts? From herself, by the way, or from her ex. Whatever she does for her money, bro, is up to her. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, Fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy it. So can you no, talk? you're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the bracelet. And no, it's not true. He he paid he paid half and I paid half. Like like I said, how much around 30k? Uh well, first I, I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you speak the truth? Like, why are you like pretending it, like hiding it? But then he was like, Don't say it. He just told me to shut up. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to them. Yes. It's a big deal to the fans and it's a big deal to them because it's crazy how they trying to sit up here and act like she's not playing a victim, man. <laughs> she, she's playing the victim. She's playing the victim. You know what I'm saying? It really makes you look like I see him. Yep. I wouldn't give a shit. You give things to people, you give things to people that you appreciate. 15 grand? Wait a minute. <laughs> Some of you just met? But these guys always want to claim they don't pay for nothing. They don't oh. do none of this stuff. They, they, don't, have. they don't use our money to get. But you realize they all do it. They all do it. You, they're, they're paying for random girls' apartments. They're all doing this kind of stuff. So why is he lying? Not because it's a big deal, but it's like you preach said, it's a big deal to the fans. And now you have to double down. And exactly, right? So check this out. Exactly. What Abba said is, is facts. They're lying because it's a big deal to the fans. The same reason why Abba and Preach are doing this one-sided interview, because it matters to their fans. So again, this just this just substantiates everything that I'm saying. And the thing is, is that more and more people are starting to notice the grandstanding of Abba and Preach. Y'all grandstanding, bro. You know what I'm saying? They always try to take a holier than thou position. And even when something is is dead wrong, they got to put all the focus on the party in the issue that they have an issue with. Clearly biased. Which again, they they never really, you know, came out and said that they're the unbiased people, you know what I'm saying? But to me, just allowing this woman to skate through this interview and just not asking her a lot of these very blatant common sense questions is just is just wild to me. It's just bizarre. What's the point? I think that has been I think that it's been proven enough. Most people probably assume that something like this was going to happen to Fresh and Fit. none of us didn't think that this would happen to fresh. You know what I'm saying? But now are you really giving helpful content? If you're not giving hints on what type of warning signs to look at when dealing with a woman, like a lot of the stuff that they're ignoring is just wild to me. Triple down on the lie. I it's almost insulting because your fans are being like, yo, are you living up to your principle? And you're like, yes, I am. You guys are lying and saying I'm not. When you just ask the girl, it's just like, oh, no, he's lying about it. So I, the only reason I brought this up is because Fresh can't be trusted about what he says on this topic because he's already proven time and time again he's going to lie to protect his reputation. Do you think that all this is good for your future baby? That's another good fucking question. Yeah. It's not. That's why I, in the beginning, it's not good for the baby, actually. Um. Is she really about to put on the fake tears? Come on, man. Look, can I ask, where do they learn these acting lessons at? <clears throat> where do they learn these acting lessons at? 
anytime a question gets <laughs> anytime a question gets difficult or anytime you know you gotta self reflect here come the the waterfall like seriously trusted about what he says on this topic because he's already proven time and time again he's gonna lie to protect his reputation do you think that all this is good for your future baby that's another good fucking question yeah. it's not that's why i in the beginning it's not good for the baby actually um that's why i'm just i just want to tell the truth because when i when i first test positive and I was just kind of shocked because I just want to see where his head at. And then I, I tried to like talk to him. I called him. I text him. He acts like nothing happened. Like, not my business. Like, woman, not my business. Deal with, deal with it. We're not together. Like, don't call me. Don't text me. Things like that. That's, that was his behavior. I have a 37 minutes conversation between me and him. What if you think we don't keep the baby quick because we're not together anymore? Things happen. And I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take you to the hospital. That would be fine. I would be okay. But he, he did. Come. Let me ask you this. <clears throat> Let me ask you this. Do you all think that it, it's, people are able to observe characteristics of somebody that they would think would make a good parent after a week? I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if, if, if a week of being around somebody is long enough to be able to make the assumption that this person is a, a person worthy of being a parent. Oh yeah, and we 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 definitely gonna look at that. We're gonna definitely look at that in the next stream. Destiny asked her what about what was most important for the baby, and she got pissed. Yeah. Now see how she see she's not really getting pissed at Abba and Preach, and the reason why she's not getting pissed at Abba and Preach is because she's already picked up on the fact that this this interview for the most part is designed to make fresh look like an idiot so there's so you know she might have to take one or two you know embarrassing questions but for the most part this is an interview that's by design to make fresh look bad so you know she's not really on edge now she didn't know what to expect with destiny and tree of life and they grilled her they grilled her and she didn't like it now that's the real her when you see somebody in a situation that they don't have no control over and they flipping out, lashing out, that's the real them. That's the real her. That Destiny interview, that's the real her. This is this is this is uh kids gloves and soft shoe. Yeah, exactly. Facts. If you guys agree with Terrence, give me a thumbs up. Terrence says you don't know anybody until you had a real argument with them. Those don't come in a week. Facts. <clears throat> Big facts. Completely the other the other way around. That just that just made me so sad. That just made me so sad. How can you, how can you, uh, you you, you said you love me like, literally two weeks ago and wanted to play a future with me and now you, you acting like this with me. Uh, when did you tell him you're pregnant? Uh, on the thirtieth. Yeah, cause yeah, I told him immediately. Um, when when I exposed him, when I when I start. To decide to expose him. Right there, I'd asked her, when did you call the lawyer? Mm. So she, she, uh, so essentially what happened was she called him on the 30th of March, being like, hey, wait, 30th of March? Am I thinking the right date? What are, what are we right now? March. For April. For April? Okay, I'm oh, sorry. So we called her on the 30th of March, tell him she's pregnant. And I think on April 4th, that's when she started exposing him. So yeah, on April 4th. Denied and everything is <laughs> yeah, because when she contacted him, he's just like, bro, I don't know. You get the fuck away from me. I'm like, no, that's your problem. Go deal with it. And so she's like, yo, you got a friend. You're going to disappear on me. So when she exposed herself, I'm calling a lawyer. I'm going to figure this whole shit out. And so that's the timeline of how things went down. It's two plus two, four. Two plus two is four. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my take. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought I asked her who decided that. Who decided that? That's, that's just logic. That's just uh, the math. Without without this, the world doesn't function. You can't count on anything. Everybody knows that. Um, idiot. <laughs> I, mean, I needed to know the answer. You're not Bro, mad invested. <clears throat> mad invested. Like monetary. Monetary. I don't care. Like, I don't care how bad I don't like somebody, bro. Like. I ain't about to pay their legal fees and all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. 
I'm good. Okay. You're good. He's uh, probably undereducated. Uh, he, well, he doesn't have anything else to say on the podcast. Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's finally, you know what I'm saying? That's a good question. I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. Damn. He was throwing your sugar walls. I'm just saying. You know? God damn, Abba. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't realize that before because I. <laughs> How does she not re- so? So if everything had been going as planned, you would have just continued to ignore it. It's not that she didn't realize it before; she ignored it. Now the thing that we gotta that we gotta figure out is why does she ignore it? What was the benefit in ignoring how much of an idiot that Fresh is? And the thing is, is that people make judgment calls like this every day. Dudes stay with toxic women all the time. Women stay with toxic men all the time. What is the what is the sticking factor that keeps them there? Uh, but you let this dummy bust inside you. Why? <laughs> I mean, you can't talk shit about God it. God damn. He was throwing your sugar walls. I'm just saying. God damn, Abba. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't realize that before because I, I just thought he's funny. Then, then you're going to end up like with a dumb baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, any regrets about the, how this whole thing has unfolded so far? Uh, yeah. First, for being so dumb, letting him come inside on me without marriage. Um. Now... Uh, but again, though, is this the first time that she's been moving like this? No. This is just the first time that she's had to deal with the consequences of it. Like I said, she dodged all those bullets before and one finally hit. Right. Right. Shout out to win, lose a rug. She didn't realize it because she didn't have enough time to know him. Facts. And because what it was that attracted her to him was probably it probably had nothing to do with his integrity as a person, had nothing to do with the qualities that he has and had nothing to do with his intelligence. Most of why she was attracted to him probably had a lot to do with the money. Not so much anything he had to offer. So when you paying attention to the money, when you paying attention to the material things, when you paying attention to the yacht, when you paying attention to the Lamborghini, and that's a distraction from paying attention to the person. And that's how you wind up with a baby in your belly by the wrong dude. And I don't I don't regret exposing. I don't. Yeah. What's who's Abba? I asked her if she's gonna have a boy, does she know what she's gonna name him? <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me this question because I don't, I don't, I haven't decided yet. What about the name Abba? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got so many DMs already that they want to step in and they want to be the stepfather. <laughs> <laughs> already, things are stepping in trying to be the stepdaddy. Step in the name of love. I, I will say this. Step in the name of love. If you end up having legal troubles and they sue you or whatever, if you name that kid after me, I'll pay for all your legal troubles. That's a Her family would not even allow you to sit at the table. And I ain't even going to be funny. I don't think her family would let her name the child after him. You shouldn't even offer your resources to people that are that egregious towards you. So she's just she's just getting she's going she's moving from one welfare check to another. Fresh was paying all these bills, you know what I'm saying? Fresh was buying all this stuff. Abba's going to give her, you know what I'm saying, a a lawyer if she names the baby after after him. What's this chick going to do on her own besides get knocked up? And where is everybody else at coming to bat for her, man? That's what people people should be asking that question. Like, what's up with nobody else coming to bat for her? Let me ask y'all this. Why do y'all think that ain't nobody else coming trying to save her? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, <laughs> facts. She really is the welfare queen. Bro, what white content creator has given her a platform to spread their message? I'm not, yo, listen, man. White YouTubers have all the subscribers. White platforms get all the eyes and ears on them. How come none of them have offered her a platform? Facts. Which, facts. Shout out to Win Loser Rug. Win Loser Rug say them folks in her community know exactly what type of woman this is. Yeah. She going on friendly interviews. She accidentally pulled up on Destiny's. She probably thought that the Destiny, she probably thought that that Destiny interview was going to go different than it did. Just like everybody's surprised by that Destiny interview. I don't understand why people think that just because they got an issue with fresh CEO that you got to cover for somebody else and you can't go in on both of them. Like, I don't understand that. That's that YouTube stuff, man. That's that narrative driven YouTube stuff. Yeah, I got to agree. Facts. Shout out to Win Loser Rug. Win Loser Rug says she got platform because dunking on fresh and disrespecting black men are totally okay on YouTube. Facts. Facts. But all of the people that keep saying all this bad stuff about black men, it's black men that gave her a platform. No women have given her a platform, and yet, allegedly, they're all on the same page about how black men are, yet none of them have given her a platform. And nobody who's not black hasn't given her a platform at all. So again, you see the hypocrisies in all of these narratives and factions and sectors and fake stuff on YouTube. These people fake, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Everybody just try to find an issue that somebody has and then twist it and manipulate it into content for their own purposes and then just do the content about it instead of calling it straight. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to Win Loser Rug. Win Loser Rug says Simps looking out for brownie points. <laughs> and and the thing is, is like, what kind of what kind of brownie points is this chick gonna give you? What 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 is she gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna treat her nice. Why? What benefit are you going to get from treating her nice? And then you're going to, what, not treat some other woman nice? Nobody deserves unearned niceness. And she hasn't earned any niceness from us. Now, whatever went on between her and Fresh and Fit, or her and Fresh, that's different. But from anybody on YouTube who doesn't know her, she hasn't earned any niceness. She hasn't earned anything. The only thing that she, <laughs> the only thing that she earned is what she got in her belly. That's it. I promise. So if you need a help financing a lawyer to fight off Fresh and Fit, you know what I mean? If, uh, if Walter Jr. over there got the name Apple, I'll pay all the bills. I'll sleep. I'll, hey, listen, as far as I'm concerned, I think you deserve every dime. What's her name? We don't know her last name. Daisy. That's what we all call her, okay? Imagine she names him Abba Preach Daisy. <laughs> I'm paying the legal fees. I will I will double the video output on this channel to pay for it. So now, again, why is she getting rewarded? Why is she getting rewarded? I've seen Abba and Preach in their videos and things that they talk about as far as like feminism and woke stuff and all that. But like, if you feel that way about quote unquote feminism and woke stuff, then why are you rewarding this woman?
why is this reward worthy? Because you don't like op because you don't like you don't like fresh. So you're gonna reward this chick. This is reward worthy. I'm gonna just you just you just won. I'm gonna just pay your lottery. I'm gonna just pay your birthday. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pay you your your way. Seriously? None. None. None whatsoever. And I got to agree with Professor Day is not keeping the same energy as a constant on YouTube, bro. That's a fact. What I'm trying to figure out is why she deserves to be rewarded. <laughs> Shout out to Terrence. Terrence said Abba wants her, which is crazy because she like you. You want this pregnant chick, bro? She got somebody else's baby in her. You got to do all this for somebody. Like, that's wild to me, man. That's wild. Man, that's crazy, man. I, I Bro, listen, I don't know. I'm 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 amused by that. I'm amused by that. That's truly truly astonishing. Let me let's just get this straight. So so see if you ask me both parties are responsible for this, right? So neither party should be rewarded but daisy is getting offered in a reward does that does that give her motivation to improve her decision making or does that say well you know what as bad of a decision as I make, there will always be somebody to save me. What do y'all think? Like, to me, like, the, the, the way that... The way that... The way that they're going about this is kind of weird. Hold on, real quick, y'all. I'm trying to figure. You know what? Hold on, real quick. Let, let's let's take a look at this. Let's let's take a look at this. There was a. Uh, hold on, real quick. Let me see something. Hold on. There was a uh, interview. Uh, not an interview but an Instagram video that she posted. Shout out to Ricky. What's good with it, bro? We're going to take a look at this Instagram video that she, a little bit of this Instagram video that she posted, and then we're going to try to come back tomorrow. All right? We're going to come back tomorrow and look at some more stuff. But like I'm telling you, man, like I, I don't, I don't understand why this woman is getting so much grace. I don't. Bro, man, the anti-stepfather community is sitting up here trying to be a stepfather. <laughs> you ain't never lied, Terrence. Facts. All the quote unquote, the, all the accountability police on YouTube are not actually policing accountability. There can be a situation where both parties are wrong. That that can happen. But see. Again, these people are scared of losing super chats. These people are scared of losing subscribers. They're scared of people being mad at them. So they can't cross sides. They don't have no ethics. Shout out to Leroy. Leroy says, all the guys who said they want to be stepfather should be careful. All of them want sex because she's beautiful. And to give her another child, that is what I know. Remember, not all love is love. Yo, that's facts. That that is, bro. That's that's facts. 
Yeah, facts. It's amazing. And, and then what's interesting about it is they'll they'll all scurry like little roaches when when the light shines on it and act like none of this was ever said. Videos will disappear, parts will get clipped out and cut out. It's wild. Now, I thought that um I thought in that last video, I thought I've been preached had uh I thought there was a there was a part from um I thought there was a part where Myron was flipping out in there. Let me see, hold on real quick. Wasn't Myron didn't they have a part in there about with, with Myron flipping out? Was that the same video or was that a different video? Let me see. Hold on real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Hold on. I uh, I actually ended this a little bit earlier than I meant to. Hold on real quick. All right, my bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got so disgusted by Abba offering to pay for this chick's legal uh, fees, I got ahead of myself. Yeah, I think you're right, Terrence. I think it's at the end. I think it's at the end of this video. Because there, there was still 10 minutes left. Hold on real quick. Hey, look at how many, look, look at this. We've been live three hours and four minutes. Imagine that. <laughs> All right, let me see. All right, let's get it. Let's to go. get all that child support every time. If that nigga is going to have Walter's genetics, she deserves child support. Yeah, he gonna need every financial advantage to be able to make it a life, and he gonna have pub CEO's genetics. I'm with it. Okay, that's a promise, Daisy. Just, just drop our names, even if it's just middle names. I'll take that. I just want my legacy to live on. It. <laughs> yeah, don't lie. That's gangster. I've said so. I'll pay every I've, dime. I said so. Oh, to be. Let me ask y'all this. How many of y'all think that's gang? I don't, I don't know if I think that that's gangster, man. I don't think I don't think being a cleanup man and helping a chick that contributed to her own demise is gangster. Like, I don't see nothing gangster about that. Oh, she should. But you know what? I, I agree. She should. I, if, he, if he's going to put it out there, she should absolutely take him up on it. But here goes what's the interesting thing. Her family would have a fit. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna take him up on it. Watch. Who would turn this down? If she's as down bad as she claims she is, uh, she ain't gonna have a choice. She gonna have to take it. She ain't gonna take this. What? Her family be like, "What's the conditions? Oh, I have to name the child after this after this man. Well, who is the man? As soon as they see a picture of Abba, that ain't happening. That family will magically come up with sixty bitcoins. clear guys i'm not joking i will pay for the lawyer if that baby has my name in you don't even know how much a lawyer fee can be bro do you see how i live my life you don't think i got money to spend this will be one of the greatest hobbies i will ever undertake i was looking straight at the camera and i didn't flinch you better not and i'll say this too i'm going to also encourage her to make sure she share custom so that every time little abba preach daisy go up to walter she goes papa hey my baby Dada. <laughs> oh, Boy. that's crazy. Hey, listen, you know what they say, right? Revenge is a dish best served with some child support. You're gonna have it. <laughs> that's crazy. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, have a good night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Couple things. So they'd had discussions in private. 
Right. Right. Shout out to Win Loser Rug. Win Loser Rug said, now the kid is a prop. Right. So, again, how is that good? for Everybody acting like they're so fake concerned about the child. How is that good for the child? Allowing the child to be used as a manipulation weapon. Know what I'm saying? Uh, text messages are right here. Mm -hmm. Where okay, so a couple of weeks back, she taken a pregnancy test. This is like maybe a month and a half ago, and she goes, "Hey, listen, guys. At the end of the day, this is what I think." And this goes to all the guys who are watching at home. All right, if you guys want to do this thing where you going in raw, because I know a lot of you guys like doing it, have conversations about whether or not she's on birth control, and if she's not, you guys got to have a different conversation at that point. You got to talk about like this is not a situation where they talked about it. And what do what do the women have to do, Abba? It's amazing how like when when these kind of things are talked about, it's literally talked about like we just dive into chicks like a rocket with no decision making. And but then after a baby is born, literally the women have all they have all of the decision-making abilities about the kids and all of that. Right, facts. And birth control is not always 100% accurate, just like no form of contraceptive is 100% accurate. But again, notice how he's, he's, he's like directing all of this at guys. Literally, we're dealing with two adults, two consenting adults. Which means that there should there should be responsibility and accountability around the board, not just the guys. Guys, you need to do this. Guys, you need to do that. The hell? Un just, just, just peep game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. Shout out to Ricky. I gotta agree. Fresh. The, I, the only per, the only person in this situation that holds a W is Daisy. Daisy, the winner. <laughs> Daisy holding the W in this situation. How many of y'all agree that Daisy holding the W in this situation? If y'all agree, give me a thumbs up. If y'all disagree, give me a thumbs down. Daisy holding the holding the W. Yeah, facts. I gotta agree with win, lose, or rug. It's always what the men need to do, and they try that fake pseudo masculinity. I'm a man. Everything's my fault. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why that's that's why you got to be careful of those old school type arguments like them old school arguments. Like people like Kevin Samuels will sit there and say, well, men built the world. Eh, I mean, it was a collab. It was a lot of shit that went into building in the world. We can't sit here and say that women didn't participate. You know what I'm saying? We can't take away from the credit of of, of, of the part that women played in developing society. But when you sit there and say that men created the world, then you give men the blame for every single thing that happened because this is our society. This is what we created. Now we created it flawed and we're responsible for the blame for everything. And everybody else is just magically absolved of any type of issue because they didn't do anything. They can't do anything. We can do everything. Yeah, I, that's, I don't agree with that. And I got to agree with win, lose, or rug. These are two adults. These are two, like, she knew this. Fresh knew this. And again, what kind of research did she do on Fresh? Like, 
this dude literally talks about pumping and dumping. What kind of future did she think she was going to have with this dude? Right. Making the talking points for feminists. Facts. And then you got you got Abba that keeps sitting up there like everybody. Notice how anybody who most people that are doing live streams or making videos about this, they're jumping on this topic talking about, whoa, sh she didn't baby trap him. She didn't baby trap him. I don't think that there's a lot of people that made the claim that she baby trapped him. I think people made the claim that she's not responsible. She's not being very responsible. She wasn't living in a responsible way. She didn't do anything to try to prevent this. So these people are jumping out the window to say she didn't baby trap to deflect away from the point that that's not the main criticism. The main criticism is that she's not moving very efficiently, effectively, or with good judgment, which doesn't absolve Fresh from any issues because, as we all know, Fresh does that on a consistent basis. But then again, we got to ask, I mean, what were you, what made you drool over Fresh? <laughs> what makes a woman drool over Fresh Prince CEO? I love him. You know, and honestly, I ain't even about to. I'm not trying to be funny, but what made Fresh simp over her? Shout out to Toy Man Return. She sure didn't love him long time. Facts. It, and she's like, oh, I would definitely get an abortion. And then she changed her mind after the fact. She's telling him what she's going to do. She tells him what she wants to do. And he went along with the ride to knowing full well what it was. How is that a trap? Stop saying this shit. I'm fine with calling. Who's saying it? Who's saying that it's a trap, Abba? Who said that? It's the same thing that I always say when people make these facetious statements about people asking for reparations in Bitcoin. Who said that? Unbelievable. Oh, there's some women who definitely do that. That's not one of these situations, okay? Mm. So it's okay. His podcast is all about holding women accountable. He can hold this L and he can hold that accountability as well. He needs to be accountable for what he said and what he's done. That's his L. She didn't do nothing wrong. Well, let me rephrase. That's not true. You see, she didn't do look where Look where he was about to jump to. She didn't do nothing wrong. Are you serious? You don't see anything. Everything that she did, don't ever get upset if you have a daughter and your daughter does that. There it is right there. There it is. I'm not sure if there is or if there isn't, but I'm sure if Fresh had said that, I'm sure Abba would have addressed it directly and said she didn't trap you, Fresh. Was. How is that a trap? Stop saying that shit. I'm fine with calling. There's some women who definitely do that. That's not one of these situations, okay? Mm. So it's okay. His podcast is all about holding women accountable. He can hold this and he can hold that accountability as well. He needs to be accountable for what he said and what he's done. That's his L. She didn't do nothing wrong. So right there, you already see what time Abba is on. And I got to agree, Toy Man. It's like saying Fresh planted seeds inside every woman he could get his sausage on. Don't be surprised if dozens of single moms come forward and say pre Fresh impregnated, impregnated them. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. She didn't do nothing wrong. She didn't do nothing wrong. I can't... I can't believe that, like, he goes back and, and, and changes it. He goes back and says, you know... Well, let me rephrase that. Yeah, let's please rephrase that. 
But that's what should that's that's what he's on the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Was how is that a trap? Stop saying that shit. I'm fine with calling. There's some women who definitely do that. That's not one of these situations. Okay. Mm. So it's okay. His podcast is all about holding women accountable. He can hold this and he can hold that accountability as well. He needs to be accountable for what he said and what he's done. That's his L. She didn't do nothing wrong. Well, let me rephrase that's not. Uh, let me rephrase that. So then why'd you say that, bro? Why why is that where your mind went? Why is that where your mind went? True. She wasn't the one that's most at wrong for this. I don't know. To me, it seems like there's a very high likelihood that if you have the ability to feel that you can know somebody's a good father after a week and you let people bust in you after a week, that 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 contributed. <laughs> that, that contributed. Now, fresh living and practicing his lifestyle and not to mention being a complete idiot, that contributes, right, as well. But also, I mean, we're going to we're just going to act like her lifestyle doesn't. Like this, he was about to go ahead and say that she didn't do anything wrong. was how is that a trap stop saying this shit i'm fine with calling there's some women who definitely do that that's not one of these situations okay mm. so it's okay his podcast is all about holding women accountable he can hold this and he can hold that accountability as well he needs to be accountable for what he said and what he's done that's his L. she didn't do nothing wrong but well, let me rephrase that's not true she wasn't the one that's most at wrong for this because it seems like she's clearly communicating he's not I disagree. I feel that they're both equally at fault for this. And they both communicated and she completely ignored the communication that Fresh was giving back. Ignoring communication is a form of communication. You know what I'm saying? There that's what it is. That's fair. Yeah. And he's the one who said, oh, she's not my girl in conversations. Oh, uh, you're my girlfriend. I love you. Nigga, what is going that you not you're not consistent? Shout out to Brooklyn Queen. And you guys know damn Brooklyn well Queen. everyone in the RP space would be like, if this was a woman, they'd be like, bro, look at women so emotional, never consistent, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck is this guy doing? And you know what? Last time I checked in in people, the actual people in the red pill space that actually have some sort of validity, they, they would judge fresh too. And again, based on their own content, fresh should have had a vasectomy. Ha, I don't know, toy man. That might be it. I don't know. To me, like with this, it's just it's just a lot of it's just a lot of nonsense. But the fans are noticing because they up in the comments, they're letting them know about the <coughs> recent life, and they're not happy with it. And actually, did you see the recent life they did with no. the lawyer? No, it's fine. And that's the reason why a lot of you facts, facts, and fa sh shout out to win, lose a rug. Fresh has been called unaccountable and a fraud since Miranda. Even before that, bro. But that's facts. Since Miranda, and it was mad people calling him out. Even their own homeboy, DJ Academics, on the show called him out. DJ Academics called him out on the show. This is just that fake. This is just that moral, the YouTube moral police, the YouTube content police. You know what I'm saying? You mother are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, dorks with no money and no one respects you because you mother don't stand for nothing if i stand with fresh i die with fresh and then i i don't understand this rant because honestly like it's not that serious it's not that serious like i don't know why myron is always about to have a stroke about everything it's not that serious bro you know what i'm saying like your man got somebody pregnant take care of the kid pay the child support it's not the end of the world and the people roasting him because he did some stupid stuff. 
So the thing, the thing that's funny about this situation is that fresh, if you ask me, fresh and Miranda both have a aversion to accountability. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's emotional, but he he's the very one that tries to say that everybody else is emotional. And now, you know, all of those things that he said that Myron says about black men. Now your podcast partner is one of those black men that created a single mom. What are you going to do about that now? Anytime this topic comes up, you're going to turn around and talk directly to your to your homeboy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Selection they did with the lawyer? No. It's fine. And that's the reason why a lot of you mother are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, dorks with no money and no respect. And I ain't trying to be funny, man, but yo, this is how a lot of YouTubers, a lot of YouTubers talk to their comment section like this. As soon as some shit gets thick or as soon as something gets hot, bro, the you I don't understand it. YouTuber will flip on the comment section. They start going in on the comment section. Myron ain't the only one that do it. If people not liking what they see in the comment section, bro, they'll start going in on the comment section. Then demand super chats and people will give them to them. I, they they say no masochistic, bro. <laughs> Toy man, you said Myron is the male equivalent of the crazy cat lady who never touched grass. That's hilarious. They say no masochistic. Social media is a rest haven for mental illness. It's a rest haven for mental illness from the content creators. To the people in the chat section. You know what I'm saying? You already know what I be saying about pro blacks, bro. All you got to do is listen to them for more than 15 seconds and they'll start sounding like Fox News. Because they get all their talking points from Fox News. They'd be the first to say you don't know how to spend your money, the first to say that you're an idiot. I mean, what what who needs Fox News? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they say you're dumb. They and, and you know what I what else I've really noticed about a lot of these quote unquote alleged quote unquote pro blacks? They really get off on using white supremacist talking points to talk crazy to black people. They call you low IQ and you know what I'm saying, all kind of monkeys and everything else. And it's like, wow, really? They really get off on that. Make it make sense. <laughs> Shout out to Win Loser Rug. Win Loser Rug said, bro, the weirdos I see on Twitch agree with everything. And then when they get called a fool, they be like, yes, I am. So weird, bro. These people are weird, bro. These people are weird. And I'm telling you, it's all agenda based. <laughs> Facts, Brooklyn Queen. You ain't never lied. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Facts. A lot of them are raised by their family, too. 
Look at Ethan Cromley and his wholesome family. You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all heard about this rich kid gang member? This dude named, uh, hold on real quick. It's called the Gilbert Goons. Some dude with the last name Lord that got deleted by these rich kids, by these American family values. Shout out to Leroy Williams. Leroy said one thing he did wrong was saying to her he did not care about her and the baby. All he has to do is call her, sit down and talk the baby before it comes. And what did the whole Internet know now? Yeah, Well, I think they both handled it wrong. I don't think just he handled it wrong. I think they both handled it wrong. In the majority of the time, the fathers are in the house. Look at Ethan Cromley. Look at Peyton Gendron. Brady Bunch family. You know what I'm saying? Let's watch Myron cry a little bit more with his Velcro, uh, with his Velcro toupee. Because you mother... Don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It See, the thing is, is that he stands with fresh. He don't stand with like integrity or he don't stand with logic. He don't stand with the truth. If you stood with fresh, bro, you should have been telling fresh like, yo, man, maybe you shouldn't just be busting nuts in every single chick that you come across. Maybe you might want to protect yourself. Standing for your friend doesn't mean a lie to cover up for your friend when your friend does something stupid and everybody's roasting him so you feel a certain kind of way. Shout out to you with the band. What's good with you, bro? Yeah. And I mean, he he going to look right past it. Yeah, bro, Myron got that looking like looking like freshly cut grass on his head. And shout out to Ricky. I think that fresh and fit like the the actual fresh and fit era has been over a long time ago. And the reason why I say that is because now, like, it's almost like people are actively watching them to troll or like they're watching them to see what kind of dumb stuff they did this week. I don't I don't know if there's a large amount of their audience that actually is looking at them for legitimate advice at this point. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know if that's if that's true or not. It is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. You fuckers. Oh shit, it's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave. I got well, right, Leroy, and that's that's what I'm. That's what I was saying from the beginning. Leroy says whether she is right or this can affect his career for good. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying from the beginning. That's why it's up to him to protect his own career. It's up to him to protect his own assets. It's up to him to make decisions that are optimal for him. I'm not trying to be funny. It may. It may seem like, you know, a little bit of immediate gratification is the thing for the moment. But when you're looking at it on the, you know, when you watch down the road, you, you've you created a situation that could make your life considerably more difficult than it had to be. You know what I'm saying? I got 20 real estate properties so I could tell mother you, my net worth is over six million i get money residually i don't need to do this and i don't need to sell my soul i stand with my friends period how is how is doing the right thing selling your soul honestly what happened for real for real is 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 fresh 
sold his soul to Daisy. That's that's what happened, bro. I mean, is this Myron experiencing heartbreak? You sit up here talking about you're not going to sell your soul, but literally Fresh sold his soul to Daisy. She now, if she has this baby, she's going to be connected to him forever without the commitments of marriage. And at the same time, Myron's not even on trial here. So, like, what, what, do you, what is he crying about? I'm not trying to be funny, man, but Fresh ain't even this mad. <laughs> right. Right. Fresh, Fresh not even this mad. It's crazy, man. It, all right? Some of your mother need to get a spawn, you jellyfish, SpongeBob, and a pineapple house pieces of shit it pisses me off how soft all you mother are bro it's ridiculous you mother ever stepped in the gym and three you screaming like this and we're soft he's look i want y'all to pay very close attention myron is I, again fresh isn't even screaming like this I mean, Myron just decided to go off to just go off the rocker. Three weeks trying to tell me how to be lost to my friends. I'm not going anywhere. There you go. They're going to brush waves. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're going to brush waves. Where? All right. I'm tired of my. Leave Fresh! Leave Fresh! He's all you do! He's all you done! Well, f you! Alright? I don't need to make a fing cent off this podcast. I'm fine! My real estate will take care of me because I knew that if I want to say what the f I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and build residual income coming in every month so I can sit here and tell you f heirs, f you! I'm not. So again, I want y'all to pay very close attention. Like, this is what Myron and other YouTubers want to do. They want to sit there and curse at the comment section. They want to call you guys losers. They think that they're better than you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's... <laughs> Hey, what's that? What's that movie with uh Damon Wayans? Yeah, he's sitting up there sounding like Major Pain. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Bros of a hose, no three o foes. Bros of a hose, no three o foes. Lip right, <laughs> fresh fit. <laughs> I can't hear, but Adam saw. I can't hear, but Adam saw. I'm going to act like I ain't no fresh busted in Daisy Raw. <laughs> hit right, hit right. Man, this is hilarious, man. This is crazy, man. Is it let me ask y'all this question, man? This is an easy question for y'all. Is this worth a stroke? <laughs> is this is this worth a stroke? <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna say what the I want to say, and I'm gonna what anybody gotta say. Yeah, you sound like you don't care. Everyone believes you too. Yeah, that's 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 you that's know, the right. face of someone who's not bothered and doesn't care. I'm not bothered one bit. Not at all. Not one bit. Me when I wake up and I'm not bothered, I just wake up. Ah, I'm a bother. Ah. Jeez. Jesus. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my ten toes and my two feet. And I stand with a fucking 
dead. And if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face. Cause I can Hey, look at Myron, man. Look at Myron. Look how crazy he is. Man, he do all kind of yelling when ain't nobody in the room, bro. All kinds of yelling when ain't nobody in the room. Look in the mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You mother you losers that sit there and say, oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Cinco? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're having Trump cars? First is an idiot. Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 shut the Doesn't care, remembers every Chris. Right though, this this part is Abba is right. Oh man, look at that right there. That like a <laughs> ah, hey, that look like a cover of a movie. Myron peeking in your window, looking crazy like that. <laughs> oh. Man. Yeah, that mic is done. That mic is done. Mother, you f losers that sit there and say, "Oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Cinco? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're having Trump cars? First is the idiot. Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 shut the f doesn't. Hey, dude, those are the voices that Myron be hearing in his head. <laughs> Myron, Chris drinks too much. Shut up. Fresh as a simp. Shut up! Sneeko's going to lose his Rumble channel. Shut up! He be hearing these voices. He be having nightmares. And he just let it He just let it out. He just let it all out the bag. Care remembers every criticism, bro. This mother staying up late on Reddit being like, what did they say about my friends? How can I defend them more for shit? Jesus. Yeah, bro. I, 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 I don't disagree with that. I, I think that Daisy knows that Walter got a lot of money to fall back on, so she down with it. She down with it. She literally, out of her own mouth, she said that her requirements for a man was to make, you know, what I'm saying, at the least a million dollars, at the very least. Yeah, he yeah, Myron is exercising those demons. All them demons, they all exercise, they all they all flying around his head. He's like, ah. Fresh is a simple. Ah. <laughs> right. Shout out to Brooklyn Queen. Fresh is an idiot. That's his buddy, and he couldn't leave that out. And Fresh ain't doing nothing but sitting there looking like a booger that just came out of somebody's nose with a smile on it. If you don't care, just don't talk about it. Move on. Shut the f up! That's why no one respects you, mother Because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People have fucked up it every time we go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole These f So you mother can say whatever the f want to say i'm not going anywhere i'm gonna stand by the guy <laughs> bro bro this got to be one of the gayest speeches bro if you close your eyes you would think this is about abroad i'm not going anywhere i don't care if you have cancer i love you Whoa, chill, chill, chill out Jesus. guys that stand by me because you piece of shit off when i'm going through it you piece of shit off in there when i'm figuring out what the fuck i'm gonna do because we got demons you know Right there, when everyone in the mob came at us, you fuckers were again. Like, what, 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 what is this? Is like an episode of post traumatic stress disorder. Like, what's what is what is all this? All this came from people criticizing Fresh. Myron flipping out over it like this? Right there, when I got the false accusation against me. You weren't there when this lied and said that I got a Hey, hey. We were, buddy. Yeah, we were there. Did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same allegations again. You idiots. I'm not going anywhere.
I'm standing right here. Bro, if these guys had the same energy about their girls as they do this fucking podcast, they'd be in the most successful marriages. They got they got the same fucking energy as uh, Diddy. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't go, 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 going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. Until the feds fucking... come. <laughs> you going to jail. Too. You want to be loyal to the people. Shout out to Torian. What's good with it, bro? Cool. Doesn't matter what they do and doesn't matter what it is. That's her choice. So, you know, everybody got a different idea of what it needs to be loyal. Some people think loyalty is like, yo, you could murder yeah. 10 people and I'm going to still be your. Boy. Yeah, bro. He. This is what I'm saying. They're calling their audience. Pieces of crap. They not the only YouTubers that abuse their audience, though, bro. I'm I'm telling you, mad YouTubers. There's a large percentage of YouTubers that are abusive as hell to their audience. It's crazy. And the people come back every day. <laughs> it's crazy as hell. Yo, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I value my friends, but I also value my values. I don't want my friends to stand by me unconditional friendships are conditional absolutely guess what if you go out and you touch kids i'm not going to be your friend anymore oh what uh, you would you guys are going to yeah i got i gotta agree i got to agree if you guys agree with professor days give me a thumbs up if y'all disagree give me a thumbs down in order to grow your audience abuse is the key formula yeah abuse drama clicks and following narratives That's the formula. <laughs> right. Man, it's, it's, bro, I've seen it. It's crazy. People will donate like you wasn't talking to me, though. Facts. Yeah, y'all will. But the rest of YouTube won't, which is crazy. It's bro. I'm t I'm telling you, I've seen it. Just go, just go watch some random stream, bro. I've seen where I've seen where YouTubers have started cussing a uh, subscribers out because they didn't have enough likes, or because they didn't have enough super chats, or because they didn't have enough cash apps. And do you and you would think that after they start flipping out talking to their audience like that, that you would see a significant number of you know like unsubscribes, like you know they subscriber count will go down. Nah. Shout out to Carlton. What's good with it, bro? Nah, you don't see that. All you see is people doubling down on the super chats, people doubling down on the membership, people doing exactly what them people say. It's crazy. I mean, it's really not, though. It's really not. It is actually some psychology behind that, which is which is just wild. But I ain't into mind games. You know what I'm saying? Stand by your homie after he's diddling kids. Okay, everyone got the conditions. Everyone got the lines. The only difference is that some people's lines are a little bit further than others. It's funny, Buzzy. It's funny because what you claim to be loyalty is the exact opposite of accountability. Which one do you want? If you are loyal, because at this point I don't think it's loyalty, but 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 whatever. When you claim to be loyal like that. No matter no matter what the fuck up is, we don't talk. You have to throw accountability out the door. It's no longer accountability because mm -hmm. no matter what happened, the no matter this, no matter that, I'm gonna have your back no matter what. All that the accountability is out the door. But and that's facts though, because if these guys were loyal to their fan base, they wouldn't be bringing on scammers. They wouldn't be bringing on fraudsters. People they know are doing this stuff, but because their friends are gonna do that, so. In order to be loyal to your friends, you're going to betray your audience, the ones that you claim you're trying to save. Like I said, everyone got their different definitions. This is not mine. But it's fine. It's fine. Back to this whole thing. Listen, I think my stance that I originally had, I think, bears out. I think this girl fell in love with this guy. Doesn't seem to be a sex worker. And he played her. Ended up getting her pregnant. And now he's having buyer's remorse. Uh, that seems to be the real gist of the story. I, I don't think she's a... Gold Digger, the way she talks about him, the way that she's genuinely hurt by the stuff he said. Um, seems like there was a real relationship there. And he made her really believe that, too. So that's what I gather from it. What about you?
It was definitely. I think they was both playing house and they both got burnt. It ain't no, you know, sob story for her. It's both of them. Both of them did dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? But then don't forget, though, I've been preached. They literally said they don't think that just pearly things is quote unquote racist. So, you know what I'm saying? There's that. And then, like, you will notice, too, that, you know, like, when it comes to Abba and Preach, right? Like, I, I like Abba and Preach, right? I'll be the first person to tell you that. I watch their content, been watching them for a lot, for a long time. But I don't agree with their takes all the time at, at all. There's some people, though, that always have to agree with their takes. Like, they're always right. They're not always right. I don't agree with their takes all the time. I don't know how people can possibly agree with their takes all the time. <laughs> Shout out to Carlton. Carlton said, I've been seeing people go in on Fresh Print CEO. He should have been careful messing with the IG community. Bro, the IG community ain't no joke. The IG community making a marks. Right, bro. Facts win, lose a rug. How the only thing that we the only thing that's evident is that he passed the time threshold of her allowing someone to come in her, and that's just waiting a week. So all he had to do was just wait a week and boom, now you in there. Now you can just shoot off like it's fourth of July. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those is her standards that she literally attested to and said. So I think that this, you know, again, we know that Fresh CEO and Myron are like arch enemies with uh, Abba and Preach. And a lot of the um, interpretation of the take is based on the contentious relationship between the two. It's not a pure take. And then you got all of the other the other Abba and Preach satellite channels night talk you know what i'm saying um playback and all of them that whatever abba and preach say all of their videos are going to be the exact same thing you know what i'm saying but in this situation you got two consenting adults see this is the thing right okay we're so now where where are we in society now we're supposed to give the woman the grace. This is all fresh fit. This is all fresh print CEO's fault. He did it all and he's a man and he's responsible. Okay. But at the same time, no, the very women who don't want accountability want equality. So at the same time, while we're sitting up here saying that it's all fresh print CEO's fault, doesn't that take all of the power from the situation away from? Daisy. So when you coddle somebody, you're not letting that person independently display their own power. So what is it that people want? Now, all of these guys, Playback, Night Talk, I've Been Preach, they'll all have an issue with feminism, right? But they're actually breaking the principles of feminism. Because if you're overly compensating and fighting this woman's battle, what that's saying is that you feel that she's too weak to fight her own battle, which feminism is looking at is, is the is the fight of women fighting against being looked at as less than men. So all of this stuff contradicts. And all of it is just it, 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 it they've they've complicated wrong and right. And they've made it to fit choice narratives. 
You know what I'm saying? This narrative here is that it was Fresh Prince CEO. And because it was Fresh Prince CEO, anybody that's involved with Fresh Prince CEO, they can't have possibly done anything wrong. And it has to be all Fresh Prince CEO's fault. Because we don't like Fresh Prince CEO. So Daisy got to be a victim. See, the victim and the perpetrators are already chosen before the situation gets assessed. And, and I agree. Facts. Super facts. Toy Man says in saying that, they admit that they have an inferiority complex. Facts. When, again, that's that's not me saying that. So that's Somebody will say, oh, look at Abba and Preach being gentlemen. Look at Abba and Preach, you know, uh, picking up the torch and caping for this woman, right? Okay, but at the same time, if you actually care about quote unquote girl power, how does that allow, how does that allow girl power to be shown if she's not allowed to cape for herself? Yeah, facts. When Lizzie Rugg said exactly the narrative she was. The, the narrative is she was just crazy in love and she played her and he played her. That was atrocious. But Abba knows women will eat that up. Facts. Because because society has led women to believe that anytime a breakup occurs, that's what happened. Anytime a breakup occurs, you didn't know anytime a breakup occurs is always the man's fault because men ain't shit. And mind you, that's not hate speech. You're just allowed to say that. But if I just randomly spewed a B word all over the place, I guarantee you my channel won't be gone or my channel will be gone. This kind of conversation right here, you know, it's these freak female insane people out here that sit here and say that this is inspiring violence against women. How? Anytime you say anything critical of a woman, it's inspiring violence against women. The legitimate talking point or the legitimate community gets all their talking points from women. How is this inspiring violence? Are you serious? I'm sitting up here saying that Daisy should have had more common sense. Fresh Prince CEO is not innocent. He's an idiot and a piece of crap that does this kind of behavior on a serial basis. Why do you think you can change him? Why do you think that he's going to look at you different? Because somebody told you you was a princess and you're not. This situation was not an act of nature. This situation was was preventable by multiple dimensions. And both parties made the choice to not prevent it. That's the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? It's a shame how, like, being a fan of these people... Well, just it, like the truth doesn't matter. This is what you got to deal with on YouTube. And the people on YouTube perpetuate this. Yeah, I got to agree. Facts. Professor Dave, uh, Professor Days says male, female, legitimate channels are all heads of the same beast on YouTube. Facts. Shout out to Carlton. Carlton says the LGTV community are tethers of black women in a stereotypical way. But that's a topic for a different day. Bro, you ain't never lied. They completely appropriate everything from black women. You know what I'm saying? But you're only allowed to say something about it when somebody's upset about something. Because you're not allowed to say anything at all, because as a black man, you're always susceptible to white supremacist talking points that everybody repeats, including the LGBT community and that group of women.
all them fist pumpers come at you with the with the with the white supremacist talking points. It's nothing but a bunch of hypocrisy, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube and in the social media space. And that's why, like I said, YouTube in the social media space could benefit from the purity of oblivion because nobody's going anywhere fast. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going anywhere fast. Look at how people have spun the block on Fresh and Fit. All the people that used to be their biggest fans are now making videos about them talking crap. And they done hid them videos that they made praising them. You know what I'm saying? And again, nobody's even addressing the fact that, you know, Daisy's parents wouldn't even meet fresh and uh, wouldn't even meet fresh CEO. But the very type of man that Daisy's parents don't think is good enough to have in her house are the men that's, I don't know why, giving her a platform, caping for her. But at the same time, if you pay attention, though, those are the people that got all the subs. Those are the people that got all the people in their comment section. You know what I'm saying? So people know what they're doing. People know what they like. Everybody ain't as committed to this YouTube BS as they claim that they are. Because YouTube talking points only hold up on YouTube. They don't hold up in real life. So when 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 social media takes up such a significant portion of your life and what you're doing, when you leave off of it, you got to reset yourself into the real world. And people and, and a lot of times people can't do that. People can't do that. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, I'm going to always do that. I don't care how popular it is or how unpopular it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I like I've been preached, but you know what I'm saying? Like this, this to me was, this was, you're blatantly ignoring facts. If you had a son, would you be comfortable with your son dating a woman like this Daisy chick? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want my kid dating her. And if I had a daughter, I wouldn't want my daughter acting like her. So that being said, but that somehow, you know, uh, alleviates her from some type of fault in her own situation that caused her own demise. She's just another pregnant chick. She's just another future single mom. No more, no less. And she brought it on herself and fresh brought this situation on herself. But what's interesting about it is that when you criticize men and women in the same sentence, for some reason, people can't tolerate it. I, my take on this situation has not changed at all. And I hear people keep saying, oh, you being you, you being hard on that Daisy chick. You being hard on that Daisy chick. Yeah. Yeah, facts when lose a rug. That one week thing was crazy. And they just brushed over it like she didn't just say that crazy stuff. But now I'm sitting here going in on both of them because it's both of their fault. You know what I'm saying? It's not one or the other. It's equally both of their faults. Not like Abba said. It's more fresh and it's, it's more fresh print CEO's fault. No, it's not. Shout out to Terrence. Terrence said, did Daisy learn anything from this? Yeah, I'll tell you what her lesson was that she learned. She learned for every failed female, there's a million simps ready to save her. That's what she learned. Yeah, even when you mentioned fresh first, 
if you have any criticism of Daisy, that becomes the focus. Yeah, it, it's, it's the focus. Oh, you're just going in on her. You're a misogynist. I'm not going in on her. I'm basing everything on what she did and said. She's the one that says she'll let somebody bust in her after a week. I didn't just look at her and say, oh, this chick nasty. She'll let somebody bust in her after, after a week. She said that. <clears throat> Again, lack of accountability. They don't even have to be accountable for what they said. Under no circumstance other than on YouTube, if somebody heard somebody say that, would they think that it's normal? Or would they just brush past it? They'll look at you like you was crazy. Two things would happen. Somebody would either try to stay away from you or somebody would try to bust you. One of the two things. Somebody going to be like, ugh, she let people bust after a week. Somebody else going to be like, shit, all it's going to take me is a week. Either one of those things is going to happen. But neither one of those things are good. She's supposed to be part of the model minority. Where's her where's her value of of self-worth as a woman? And I got to agree professor days, no critical skin, no critical thinking skills being added in this conversation will have you looking goofy. Yeah. Yeah. This this right here is a perfect this is a perfect example of YouTube narration. And you see this with a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Sometimes I just don't do videos on certain things because I just, you know what I'm saying? I just be like, man, it's not even worth it. Because if I say my take on this, you know, some people may not be able to accept it. And I don't have a cult. You know what I'm saying? I got a, I, I got a decreasing viewer base. So I got to try to you know, preserve what I got. You know what I'm saying? But the sad thing about this is that you can't, you can't really observe these kind of situations on YouTube without the image being distorted by an agenda, you know? So who knows? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to agree. I got the real ones. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to Toy Man Return. Shout out to Terrence. Shout out to Professor Days. Shout out to Win, Lose, a Rug, Lloyd Scott Nine, Carlton. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? We going to... Um, it, it, like I said, it's some more of this stuff that I want to talk about tomorrow because it, it, just the hypocrisy is just interesting. I mean, like it, it's just it's amazing how everybody just look past all of the crazy stuff that this woman says. Like it's just, it's just wild to me. It's just wild. She getting a pass. She's getting a pass that wouldn't nobody else get. Would nobody else get this pass? And her parents won't even let you sit at home and eat some rice with them. I'm telling you, what y'all need to do, <clears throat> go watch Duke and Don's live stream that they did on this and watch when she called into Duke's stream. She almost let it out. She I swear, It's right at the tip of her tongue. She said, and my parents... They, you know, if they found out that I got a uh, American, if I got pregnant by an American, I'm telling you, it almost came out. Now, this this lends leads you to a deeper question, right? Knowing that your families are racist as hell, knowing that your family is racist as all hell, shamefully racist, archaically racist. Why why did you grow up in a racist family and then sit there and turn around and say that racism doesn't exist? Why do they do that? White people, Asian people, basically everybody that's not black. People like Patrick Bet Davis. 
knowing that your families are disgustingly racist, <clears throat> why do you sit there and when when you have the light shined on you, you turn around and say that it don't exist? What, what's wrong with y'all, man? What's wrong? Are y'all that much of cowards? Like, what's wrong with them? What's wrong with these people, man? And what's wrong with the people that get some type of validation off of being cool with these people? <laughs> shout out to shout out to Toy Man Returns. White people who are racist for the most part come from derelict suburbs, right? Or Europe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So yeah, man, we gonna I, I'm gonna try to uh check this out tomorrow because like I said, I had a couple streams that I want to do on this because I want to point out some things. And this stream ran way over. I did not want this to be four hours long, but you know what I'm saying. Like I said, I enjoy talking to y'all, and I'm not gonna sit there and talk crazy to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna denigrate my audience. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna demand that my audience make it rain on me every single damn time. You know what I'm saying? But you know. I enjoy chopping it up with y'all, man. So I appreciate y'all for coming through. All right. Shout out to the replay gang. Make sure y'all hashtag replay gang. And as always, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>